Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Matt Murray. Hello. Sean Bell. Hello. And of course there's no James Farley again this week. So there will be another Farley fact, but that'll come up later. In his place, we have no one better returning to the show with Sean's uh, understudy at one point. Oh, don't it's John say Denton. That. It's the most laborious intro. <laughs> right, hello. <laughs> Farley fact. What are you talking about? Hi, it's nice to be back. Well, if you're a listener, John, you'd know. They love all that. They go, oh, Farley, there's a Farley fact coming. I can't wait for that. So just yeah, because you're not on board as with a it. Guest. <laughs> you I tell you what, you wouldn't have done that to Ellie Gibson, would you? So, I don't know if you... Yeah, no. but I've got respect for Ellie. I don't know if I should um, I should treat you the same as just a normal guest because you were a member of the show for a long period of time. What was it, like eight months? I don't know that. Yeah. That's a good old Long stint, old time. wasn't it? So it was a stint. That was a good old stint. Yeah. It was a stint. It was a stint. Um, so uh, I don't... you're just telling me now, after the show started and I can't back out, that you're not going to treat me with any respect? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got you on. <laughs> sounds... <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is how Ali G did it, wasn't it? He was like, yeah, no, I've always, you uh, you've always reminded me of Ali G, Dave. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very similar, very similar humour and style. Yeah, uh, very subversive. Dress. Very Thanks. subversive. <laughs> We'd like to start the show by thanking our Patreon producers this month. They are the QuickBooks chap, Simon Nelson, Moomin Biscuit, Trans Rights of Human Rights, Dave Ernsberger, Colin Brown, Gasman, Rocketman76, Grey Dragon Claw, Smooth Monkey, Colin Smith, Richard Sawyer, John Tempelli. Uh, Jackie Sniper, Gordon Garrow, Safe as Records, Sam Higton, Jonathan Edwards, Fred Fenge, Thomas, Ryan Cobain, and Josh Hunt. They went full Nels. And you can go full Nels too by going to patreon.com forward slash TCGS. Um, pick a tier. Just get on there and fucking pick a just tier. Pick one at random. Yeah, just pick one at random. Close your eyes. Don't and pick think one about at random. the consequences. Yeah. Uh, if it's the lower one, Bad just luck. go one up. Just go say, one yeah, up. Just re-roll. Any... Just, just do it yeah, again. Yeah, I, I random, but one one to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the top, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, thanks, everyone, that supports us at patreon.com forward slash TCGS. It really keeps us going. John, welcome back. How's it feel? Have you uh, you missed being part of the TCGS crew? Yeah. So now it's things cooled down for you. you. You know, you're getting back into civilian life. How's it feel to return to the limelight? Um... <laughs> What to return to the limelight? <laughs> yeah, he is the limelight. Uh, no, it's nice it? to be back. Uh, it is. I've missed chatting to you a lot. Well, I chat to you every day, so I haven't missed that at all. But um, yeah, I, I've missed. I've been meaning to come on for ages, but um, haven't for whatever reason. So yeah, Not happy the rain, to, the happy weather. To be here. It's mainly the rain. Yeah, it's mainly the pretending of rain. It's <laughs> <laughs> the mean, main reason. Uh, should we worry about your reaction to the the the, the chat at the start of the show last week or? Are you cool? You, you're all right with it? What were you slating me? Well, it's good a reaction, David. You don't hold on. There. Sorry, right. Let's slow down. Why are you pretending that you don't listen? What's I'm this? Not pretend, hold, no, no, no. I'm not pretending I don't listen. I listen every week. I've listened to every episode since the beginning. And so I'm not trying to pretend that I don't. I just forgot what you said. <laughs> all right, good. No, that's probably a good thing then. That's a good thing. I right? remember getting a bit that's of a, a kicking, thing. but that's fine. But like, I need people to understand, right? I record. If you ever watch my videos, there's a green screen, but this is what it actually looks like. And this is a conservatory. And I can say that because the audience is English here and they know what a conservatory is. <laughs> and it's fucking miserably hot or freezing cold. And obviously, if it rains, which it does in this country, it sounds like this. Let me just find my photos. <laughs> you took photo of rain. <laughs> yeah, fair dude. Yeah. And that's... It can get a lot worse. Now... I mean, I know... You don't take the most care on this podcast, but I assume that, <laughs> wow. you, I assume okay, that you didn't want to record with that sound. So that's why, you know, just to, to I was actually doing it for you, mainly, Dave. So, what do you, know. you do? What do you do then when you're doing your videos and it's pissing it down? Well, do you have if, to wait? Yeah. It's like the cricket. Yeah, it's a lot <laughs> like the cricket, really. I have to wait. If it's, <laughs> if it's faint rain, then we can like talk around it a little bit. Or some people go, oh, that's quite nice. I think Sean waiting in between the like, drops. Yeah. <laughs> Sean said last week it would be like ASMR. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, a little bit, but also not really. Because <laughs> if it really pisses it down, it sounds like Saving Private Ryan in here. It's fucking horrendous. So you can't actually be in here. Even with the headphones on, you have to leave. 
So yeah, it might rain. I kind of hope it does now. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun up. That's not the only reason why you you pulled out last week, though. Did you, you really had quite tired. an exciting weekend, didn't you? Yes. When went into Europe, you travelled to Europe to see your new best friend. Uh, yeah. Yes, a little hop over to Paris last weekend uh, to go and meet uh, the weekend himself. I'm sure people have seen it's uh, been all over social media. Um, <laughs> bit, bit and it was, it, was, it was fucking nuts. <laughs> To be honest, it was nuts. Half an hour with a man himself, one of the loveliest people you could ever hope to meet. Did you and... speak to him before the gig or after the gig? Uh, before the gig. So what? Like, I mean, for, for starters, that like, I can't even imagine that. Do you remember how nervous we were walking out in front of fifty people in uh, Sunderland, Sean? Can you yeah, imagine yeah. walking out in front of thousands of people <laughs> in a fucking the, <laughs> just the chatting to John? Thing, you're right. Yeah, it was chatting to chatting to him, and after a few minutes, obviously, it's like you got the superstar thing. I was really nervous, but I kind of chilled out by the time. We got to chat to him and he was so nice and normal. And, you know, we talked about fucking Tears of the Kingdom and Harry Potter <laughs> legacy and stuff like that and films and stuff. He's just a nerd. <laughs> Did you um, go, oh, Harry Potter? You like that, do you? We kept, well, sorry, now I'm... I was talking to him about Harry Potter. I just kept quiet. I'm off. But, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just see me. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I, don't, I don't care about Harry Potter. But anyway, um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the weekend. weekend. So, the yeah, weekend, no, yeah. the weirdest part was seeing that, going down and being like, it, honestly, it was just such a surreal feeling going back out to the to the, to the the show. And then he walks out and you're like, oh, yeah, that's that guy. That, hey, well, that's my mate <laughs> yeah, yeah, in front of 80,000 yeah. people. And it took about <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes for it to kind of go back to feeling like a normal concert again. Hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, like you say, to walk out. I'm it's, obsessed it's, with the ticket really... stuff, right? Because I've, I've been fortunate enough to do nothing like that, obviously, but I've been hmm. fortunate enough to do like uh little you know corporate -y things right and and it, i'm just obsessed with the little details like so you go and you pick a ticket up from a special place do you you don't go to like the normal place and then when you do it's like is there a because i know that these things are the security everywhere right mm. so it's all controlled obviously right but there are times when you're you've got a special ticket where you're like well how special is this one am i allowed mm. through that door and are you confident enough to go oh fuck it might as well try or are you kind of like no i need to stick within the rules because if he finds out that i've just been wandering around where i'm not supposed to be that's really bad for me what's well, the, the thing the passes that we had for so I went to the London show first and didn't meet him um, at the London Stadium and then same again were to go anywhere on the floor um, to go backstage anywhere but not to the artist area so there was like a separate backstage I guess because it's so that was big, the one in London right? same same for Paris but um, we oh, didn't right. really go wandering backstage in Paris because we just met with his manager's assistant who took us to go and see. Abel, who was in like a completely, we went down the players' tunnel, but the rest of backstage was like off a, a corner and like. But how do how do you meet his manager's in. assistant? Then how does that come about? Do they go? I'm going to meet you here at this time. Yeah, and this is the shit I'm obsessed with. A, yeah, so he, and he said take a photo of like where you are and a selfie. So I did, and at that point it was. <laughs> well, quite what was that like? Right, two questions. Mm. Firstly, were you <laughs> did you smile in the selfie that you sent? I don't know. Hold on. Like, are you sitting there going, like, how should I present I this? Because <laughs> well, so, well, that was to prove you, you were there, your the location. What yeah, was, yeah. Why so they know what you smile. look like, I assume. Like that. I don't know if you can if it picks it up. Are you where you might not be able to? Okay, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so right. Like, okay. Hello, we're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then and then so they come over and go, John, come with me. Is it like official? Is it just no? Hey, he was just super, no, casual, because right? everybody that's around the weekend is like all his like core team. They're all cool people. They well they right, okay. called in an actually yeah. cool way that people you yeah, yeah, yeah. to hang out with. <laughs> yeah, um, they're not so paid to be cool. Yeah, no. I know what you mean. Um, so his manager was, was super sound on on the DMs anyway, and then this mm. guy who works for him was just like just a very chilled Canadian guy, very cool. Came up, gave me a big bro hug, and then just uh, you know chatted and was just like, let's go through here, chat to some security guard. Yeah, he was he was just pure vibes. He was actually in the room as well, and he was um, right at the end of Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah, these aren't like marketing type people. Like I can't really be around people like that for very long, just by having worked mm. in that world before. But these these weren't like that at wow. all. Yeah, sorry, mate. You're gonna have to... <laughs> yeah, Matt. Fuck, <laughs> you. fuck off, Matt. <laughs> fuck you, Matt. Um, yeah, well, I've done it the... as well. But um, all right, okay. So one more one more question about this before we Sean. move on. 
So you did your uh, famous uh, glasses on. So when, if, for those of you that haven't watched John's videos, I'm sure you have. But when he really likes a song, he puts sunglasses on, right? That's yeah. the that's that's your thing. Yeah, it is. And you, there's a video of you and the weekend. I keep calling him the weekend because I I'm not confident enough to call him Mabel yet, <laughs> um, <laughs> because I'm not cool enough. But there's a, a a video of you both putting on the sunglasses at the same time, right? In yeah. the way that you do. How does that come about? Do you just go, listen, mate, can I do this? Can you do this now? Um, how did it exactly come out? It was in my head. I was like, if we get on and we got time. But do you know how this all came about? That I got to meet him in the first place? No, go on, go on. Okay, so really quickly, at Coachella in March, massive festival in America, he... Did, Dave's just gone. He's, He's literally off. just got up and walked <laughs> off. So yeah, yeah. Classic, classic, that's my question. I'm going to classic go. baller move. Yeah, you can talk what you want. Unbelievable. Right. Well, so, okay. On. Well, should I keep telling the story? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, 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 he will be listening, but he's right. just yeah. That was I can't hear you. Sorry, my window right. is open. I just uh, realised okay. it was like cars. Yeah, tell your story. Bye. It was fucking wild. God, I was listening. Um, I just... I did, yeah, yeah no, it makes sense. Now. Anyway, um, so at Coachella, he uh, got on stage and did that move, right? And so loads of people tagged me in it. And so I put out a tweet when it was still Twitter. Um, I just said, for a joke, for a joke, I just said, oh, Abel, just, just say if you're a fan. I can't remember exactly what I said. Mainly to get some likes on my tweet from people who follow me. Went out, went to jujitsu, came back, and he had retweeted that with a picture of op the open eyes one and the sunglasses. And I was like, "What the fuck?" At this point, well, I had like, no idea he'd even seen. The yeah, video okay, right, okay, okay. So you see a tweet like that because I've had tweets, but obviously not as big as that. But I've had tweets like that that have been referenced from like people that I like, right? Yeah, and for a good five seconds, you're like, "I need to triple check that this is real." Because oh. if I go mm. to all, like their page and they've got like four followers and you're like, oh, yeah. fuck you. No, so no, you, you... To, like 10 times checked it was real, but I was getting tagged so much <laughs> yeah. on every platform that it was pretty obvious that it was real. So that was insane. And then I was like, well, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened in the whole time I've been doing this. So I've got to make a video about it. Um, so I did make a video about it. And then he shared the video and said that he loved the video and was glad that I'd well, I talked about, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and that's what, and sort of, you know, breaking through my own personal insecurities um, and, and doing the channel. And he's shitty and he said, we're glad that you've done that or something. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I'm just going to DM him. He's got 68 million followers or something like that. There's no <laughs> chance of him seeing it. But I'll right. DM him just saying, thank you. I, I, and I was like, I know you're coming to London soon on the tour. We'd love to connect. I was like, there's no chance, but <laughs> why not? Well, I mean, what, what, what's the worst that can happen? Hour later, messages back from from him to say, "Yeah, hey John, yeah, love what you do. <laughs> Definitely, we need to connect in London. Which show you? If you send to? me your bank account details yeah. <laughs> and your London, then <laughs> yeah. But long story short, like it had become, I'd become aware that he was aware of the move and he was potentially doing the move as a nod to mm. me which is wild anyway so he was very aware of the move and then in the sh in the paris show well, he'd watch your stuff before that doing yes. that mm. right yeah. right right and so are you going to sue him for uh, stealing no, your thing? to the cleaners john no, <laughs> no he's, he's more than welcome i stole it from wrestling from the early and 2000s the fonts. anyway <laughs> And the Fonz. Yeah. I mean, it's not easy. I just did it on the off. This is going to be the really best know. court case of all yeah. time, isn't it? Yeah. John yeah. versus The Weekend. How do you WWE versus John. Yeah, that, yeah. The Fonz <laughs> versus WWE. <laughs> so, so, yeah. And then he was, yeah, he was excited to, to do the, the, the glasses move. In fact, I have an outtake of him fucking it up, which I haven't <laughs> put out. How have you not sent that to me? Because you're worried that I put it somewhere. No. Not saying I want to see no. if it, is it like um, when James Farley tried then. to put his glasses on and he he, he stuck to the thing. Well, it's not as bad as that. <laughs> <laughs> he just became aware. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you later. The reason I didn't put that <laughs> yeah. out is because he adjusted his hat and showed his hair, and at no point in this tour cycle or anything has he shown the top of his head because normally when he like goes to a new era and a new outfit and a new style mm. and everything like that, it's like a new hairstyle as well. So yeah, um, that's, yeah, that's what I did. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. And so I thought I don't want to fuck that up just in case. And I also right, right. didn't want to message him going, I, I noticed that you took your hat off slightly. Am I right? To put I was like, no, he's basically playing to 80,000 people. Like, he, he doesn't have time to answer that. I'll just leave it. But yeah, I can send it to you. 
No oh shit well that that's amazing that that yeah it was fucking mad to see and mm. um and uh yeah well well done keep keep up the youtube it's going, it's going well for you and i've uh, got I mean, high hopes we, 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 we did get our when well, you know, one of keep our jingles played at a laser quest um so that, it's kind that of is same, true kind of that is levels. very and we ended up doing a show in yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunderland and uh, Southampton? No, <laughs> Sheffield. <laughs> what? Come to the Southampton one? <laughs> I can't remember. So you can't can remember where we were. South. It's like one of those. Yeah. You know when you get so big, you kind of forget what even like the city you're playing. Track, mm. You just totally lose track. It's after embarrassing. That, after that second live show, it's just like, oh, God. Just <laughs> 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 um, that reminds me, actually, Farley Fact for this week. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. not back, so I've got Farley Fact for you. If you remember... Um, he's been very vocal about how he doesn't like taking his top off on the mm. beach, and I thought that was weird. And he privately told me it's because he's got a third nipple. There you go. There's well, no, um, no, the Farley fact for this week. Everyone. <laughs> well, if he was here, Sean, I wouldn't have the opportunity yeah, to no, tell people that. It's his fault, actually. Now that I think about it. It's, but here yeah. we are. So last uh, week, Dave, you said I'm going to keep nipples. doing them until James says something. Has he even messaged you to reference? No, he, he, oh. he, he, he completely ignored it. I've got, I've got a feeling he's fuming. He's also, I do know that he's got um, uh, intermittent access to the internet in China. So there's a very good chance he hasn't even heard it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. so when he comes back. <laughs> Let's all pretend I didn't do anything. He's not um, going to listen to these when, he's, when he gets back. You don't no think way. he will? Well, gonna... catch up on four weeks of podcasts. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he will with John on. Me. Let's get to the end. Yeah, he'll probably listen to this one. All right, James. All right, okay. Uh, hello, James. You all right? How's that third nipple of yours? Be it. Um, should we get some feedback from last week's show? Yes, yeah, so we're going to start with Nick Parton. Dear TCGS Comorbid Disorders, on the subject of editing the show, James got to do a dry run on a short podcast where he was thoroughly stitched up by the other TCGS members, see Patreon. But I'd like yeah. to see him do a full episode, specifically with frequent interjections from the editing room every time the tide of discussion <laughs> turns against him. Hand James the full reins when he gets back from his break. Go on, from Nick. I can't imagine anything worse. And honestly, I don't think he'd even be interested at this point. No, no I mean, way. He yeah, no really, way. Bad time he really fucking it. hated editing yeah. that one. And that's yeah. before you even factor in how much we fucked him over. Like he hated <laughs> it. So to think that he would edit a full like two and a half hour pod is no just, chance. I don't think it's on the cards, is it? No. I mean, no, I mean when do you want it 15 to come minutes out, was too much. The, yeah. How long, how long do you want to give him to edit it? Because how long yeah, did he take also, to do the 15 minute one? It took him four hours to do it. And also, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, well, like, yeah, four hours of solid editing. We right, took, it took yeah. a couple of days to put it up. But but um, also, him editing in little comments here and there, that just, you don't know how much, well, Nick does know how much that adds to a <laughs> podcast edit. So absolutely no chance of doing that. But uh, uh, I would say it's a nice idea, Nick, but it's not, it's a terrible idea. Never email again. Yeah, never, never contact us again. Martin Topping, <laughs> thank you for the record. Thank you for recommending... Arcade Paradise. I picked it up on the PS5 and have been loving it. However, explain to my wife that I'm doing washing and drying along with cleaning up rubbish. She's raising questions uh, on why I'm not doing it at home. I'm dreading telling her the next yeah. thing I'm picking up is Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been through that. I'm interested actually, John, because you played a bit of um, Power Wash Simulator and you did that thing. Finished it? That I, I played all whole... of Power Wash yeah, Simulator. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. sorry, not Power Wash Simulator. He didn't finish it because the last level reset. Um, uh, no, you played a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> Do you it remember? bugged out. <laughs> yeah, but still, it didn't. You didn't get the achievement. Um, uh, RK Paradise. Yes, you did that thing where I recommended a game, and one day I got like eight text messages about how it's making you angry, and then I never heard from you again. So I'm assuming you just deleted it that day, right? Was it making me angry? Yeah, no. you said. How long have I got to do this fucking washing for? That's just normal talk. That's a valid question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was getting a bit ridiculous. Is that's like I don't really want to do this anymore. Isn't this a game about an arcade? I mean, I get it, but like I'm still doing this hours in. Um, I mean, I know we won't go into the game too much. No, I like realized much like Power Wash Simulator, but earlier that the energy that I was spending on the game was best yeah. spent doing anything other than that. So I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. The game is really cool, but I just felt um, yeah that I was wasting my time. The the thing is, I think the, the, the one difference between that and Power Wash is that the actual arcade games are really fun to play. And I think that was like, mm. oh, okay, I can justify this a little bit more than Power Wash Simulator. 
Um, I think you enjoyed still, it more than I did. What the the arcade games? Yeah, we, yeah, I, yeah. I think the early ones. I think. They front loaded the sort of weaker ones, although that that combination between Pac Man and GTA was pretty good. But yeah, but so. yeah, some of the others were some of the other ones that the better ones are later on, I think. And yeah, I, I think well, maybe that didn't help the game too much. But yep, it's a fucking good game. Glad you're enjoying it, Martin. Um we got uh, continue with Mock Turtle Soup. Evening, folks. I just wanted to drop a quick thanks for recommending Viewfinder. I picked it up after hearing about it mentioned on the show and have since gone on to get the Platinum. It's got just the right kind of perspective puzzles that I've really come to appreciate in gaming over the last few years after playing games like Hellblade and Superliminal. Keep up the great work. Hashtag Shag the Bear. <laughs> Hellblade? Hellblade. What, what, where's Hellblade in there? What's that got to do with Hellblade's got those perspective it's... puzzles, hasn't it? I've never played it. But oh, I I didn't, I've that. never played it. About... Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Did you play Hellblade, John? Yeah, I finished it. It does have perspective puzzles. It's mainly perspective puzzles. Oh, really? So I hope I hope they don't do that in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> right, still not really a good game. Still not really sure yeah. what the second one is, right? Because all the stuff they've shown has been very impressive, but cutscenes basically. I still don't understand how that game is not out. I swear to God, they mm. announced it like fourteen years ago. It's so weird. It's like that. And do you remember when the the follow up to? Uh, What's the Will of the Wisps? What was that? Ori? Oh, Ori, right? Yeah, yeah. The Ori thing. Yeah. I remember them talking about the Will of the Wisps for years. And I remember them, like someone says to me, oh, Will of, Will of the Wisps is out in December. And I go, surely that's been out for four years. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think Hellblade, the, the sequel to that, is up there with that. It's fucking mad. Um, but yeah, now Viewfinder is just... Uh, the more I think about that game, the more I fucking love it. Have you not played it yet, Sean? Sorry, Arcade okay, Paradise. No, you find no, you find oh, We've I'm moved on. Sorry, I got confused. We're sorry, I was looking one. at the doc. I was, I was scanning ahead to see if I could remember what the news was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've bought it, but I haven't played it yet. All right, okay. You should get on it. I mean, if if you like those sort of perspective puzzle things, if you like, yeah. you know, especially super liminal, um, this is, I think, is a better super liminal mm. with a worse yeah, story. I mean, I, I, yeah, really. I really enjoyed the demo. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Thank get you. on that. Get on that. Yes, Aiden Ashfield. Good day, folks. Been listening to you, fine gentlemen, since COVID hit, and I can't thank you enough for making that pretty terrible time a little bit easier with your superb bants and general good vibes. I'm loving Straight the comment about on who's going to get a tattoo, and I have a suggestion, if you'd be so kind to hear me out, whoever loses has to have the critics' meta score of the Star Wars game they chose tattooed on the part of their anatomy, TBC, That's good. with a quote good. from them... Um, with the with the lowest rated review, just oh, sorry, a thought. A quote from the lowest rated review. Yeah, with a quote from the lowest rated review. Uh, just a thought. Keep up the immensely great work. Love to you all. Peace out, Aiden. Maybe I mean, just, that's a lot of text. Maybe so, just um, the number. Like yeah. I do like that something linking directly to it. We got, I can't wait for this to actually be set in stone to find well, out. It'll say what like eighty four. I also it'll say eighty five. <laughs> yeah, just say eighty four. Yeah, and that's the, it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you do the 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 meta score and the quote from the yeah the the shittiest review, there's obviously going to be some website that's going to completely lowball it and just right. talk absolute shit about it, right? So yeah, it's just, yeah, it yeah. would just look weird because it'd be like eighty six shit game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> work, but, yeah, yeah. But it's a funny yeah. idea. I don't want a polygon quote on my ball bag. <laughs> um, John, who do you think is going to lose that bet? Like, what do you think is going to be the lowest ranked game? Either Jedi Survivor or the, the other one? Um, what did Jedi Survivor get? Jedi 85. Survivor got 85. 85. Which is mad, really. But, well, it's not mad. It's a really and good game. It's just so flawed. Who's, I have a listen, but like, I just forget. Who Who's backing so, what? James is Matt's backing, backing Respawn. Yeah, yeah. Right. James is back in respawn. Matt's back in Ubisoft. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, swore Outlaws looked good, and then it kind of one thing led to another, and uh, now we're here. <laughs> Outlaws does look good, though. What happens if like it's it the does. Same? Uh, then it's cancelled. No, <laughs> no, no. It's, yeah. it's another um, point. Ah, damn. Now, I think the Ubisoft game is going to win. I don't, but I think that it, widely sensible people will think it's worse. But I mm. think Star Wars nerds will review it and overhype it. And it will get 80, 86. That would be amazing if it beats oh it by my one. God, if it's that's one. what I want. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's what you want. You want it to beat it by one because yeah, that because means it... you're getting a tattoo. No, no, no if, oh, if no, you're back in Ubisoft. <laughs> you're yes. back in Ubisoft. No, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. It's a tough <laughs> yeah. thing to follow. 
I can't um, wait for them to just both get a tattoo by accident because they weren't sure. <laughs> <the one laughs> yeah. I just thought I was getting, getting, getting a going. tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Have you told Jill yet? No, I thought we were going to do it on the bonus show and just haven't had well, a chance. Ma- well, uh, yeah. He's, he's still hoping you won't have to tell her. Surely. Well, no, no, yeah. I'll, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. <laughs> James has it... already told Chen. That's true. Well, I thought we both could do it at the same time on the bonus show, so James has Yeah, but he it, did really. it. Yeah, he did it already. Did no, it already. I, I, I was good at last month, but she was a bit. Um, she wasn't very happy at the time, so I figured best not <laughs> rock the boat too much. Uh, I'll wait till uh, August. <laughs> I mean, John, what would your wife think if you said, oh, I'm having a bet where I'll get a tattoo if I lose? Like, what would you get? I think she'd just say, you don't have to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, even if, no, if you lost, you do have to do that. There's no way you can turn around and go, well, I'm not doing it. I lost, I'm not doing it. You can't do that. She would say, are you arguing with her or me? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I would have never taken that bet, ever. No, there's no way I would have done it. Fine, though, isn't it? Someone jokingly said a tattoo. I thought, well, this is this is gonna fall by the yeah, wayside. I respect and it the bet. I, I, oh, right. I respect <laughs> the bet. Yeah. It's got yeah, John's I'm respect. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm right. looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, anyway, Good. the investigator. Uh, Phil Wall is, is not okay. to not to look at the chat, and I apologise, but Phil Wall oh, in the chat has raised a very good point. Um, Go uh, we don't even need to read it out. Yeah, you can. It is. It, it is valid. I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is the chat? Um, okay, I'm gonna okay. move on. Um, the investigator, not sure why Dave was so condescending towards Matt's suggestion that Nintendo would be the most likely to add a taste component to their games. This is a company that's gotten their cus- uh, their consumers to build pianos and robots out of cardboard, squeeze and prance around in a giant plastic ring, and even considered releasing the Wii Vitality sensor. But getting consumers to taste things, oh no, that's absurd. Yeah, no, that was my absurd. thinking. No, it wasn't your thinking. You turned yeah, around and went, yeah, yeah, you know what my thinking was, David. <laughs> I can tell what your thinking is. No, my thinking was, of all the companies to do this, it would be the company that's done all the other sort of, you know, madcap stuff. Like, so yeah, Microsoft and Sony would do it. one thing. Or releasing a bit of cardboard or whatever, but trying to introduce taste into video gameplay. No. I can n- some, I can oh, I could see them doing that. You didn't. You just said that because you were showing off in front of an audience. <laughs> that's what it was. What? <laughs> just showing off. It was a cool I was thing. asking you a fucking cool question, you idiot. No, you weren't. You, you I took literally was far. answering a question. <laughs> you took it too far, Matt. That's what, what happened. You got overexcited. Anyway, it was embarrassing. Look, like the, the investigator knows the score, and um, yeah, and, okay. and, yeah, the investigator. So... Good. Right. Can't even spell his name right. Go on. He doesn't uh, have investigation in progress. One. <laughs> All right, sure. What are you... Well, I think we found out who the investigator is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's a really clever joke, actually. That he, uh, I, he does. Uh... <laughs> that they do, yeah. Um, cool. Sky re ambiguous slash open ended drag question. Oh yeah, this is um yeah. Last week we got asked about uh, if we go dressing drag, what color eyeshadow, what color dress, etc. And then we all just yeah. Sort of yeah. panicked. Hit Sky's back once again. My wholesome <laughs> question. There you go. Oh, we're just okay. too straight for this question, Sean. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, we I get know. the yeah. We're too, disappointed we're in myself. Too manly. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Uh, so, re ambiguous slash open ended drag question. Once again, my wholesome question was met with hostility by none other than Sean. The vitriol and hate in his voice was palpable. I could literally <laughs> hear the venom hitting the microphone as it was spat from his beautiful lips while on his screaming tirade. I know that deep Sean down, has Sean was a got gentle, beautiful lip, lips, loving soul, he... <laughs> and I pray for him. Uh, uh, I shall expand. Slugs. Ah, <laughs> that's the episode title. Oh. I shall expand to Matt and Dave. I didn't realise there'd be so many layers. Compliments on my lips, Dave. You know oh yeah, I name do. one. That's a, I, I find it bizarre, but it, it, it is a thing. Go on, then. From who? <laughs> You're just oh, lying, Sean. You. What? You're just lying. I'm not <laughs> lying. Why would I, why someone turn around? I lie about that. I don't know. Just sheer bloody mindedness. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what? Go on. Let's not. Come on. Let's get on yes. with the email. Um, I shall expand yes. for Matt and Dave. I didn't realise there'd be so many layers of complexity while trying to answer a question about the colour of a dress. I guess I meant it for you to improv and interpret the question however you like. No worries, I got you covered. The theme cool. is the Switch 2 release party. Matt should wear a blue Sonic-themed asymmetric bodycon mini dress with a side slit, slowing off his, <laughs> showing off his strong runner gams. Uh, gorgeous blue bouffant spiky hair, master emerald necklace, and two heavy, high-quality golden Sonic ring, ring-shaped bracelets. Oh, I Dave, I feel sick. That sounds um, quite hot, actually. I'm, I'm Dave, right. 
a Bowser themed floor length of the shoulder ball gown with two Marie Antoinette style wigs side now by side on, t on top of the head playing off the two in Switch 2. The bottom half of the gown will be covered in sharp spikes on top of a turtle shell print so that when he twirls, the dress looks like a spinning spiky Bowser shell. Yes, Sharp mate. enough to cut down a tree if desired. Sean does not need my help. He can be the bell of the ball on his own. Nice. Love the show. You're doing great. Thanks, guy. <laughs> Have I ever told you about how lovely your lips are, Sean? <clears throat> uh, you haven't, but I do get that a lot, so I'm not surprised <laughs> in the least to hear that. Add it to the dot. <laughs> Is that it for feedback, Matt? Yeah, thank you, Shy. That was a great email. And um, yeah, I, I, I shy, might build shy. that. Did you just call Sky Shy? Did I, say, did I, say, did I, say, I think I said Sky. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yep, yep, uh, well, it, it, definitely not Shy, but shy, thank you, Sky. Um, yeah, I, Shy's really never messaged in the show properly, has he? No need. Right, bad? we'll move on. Uh, don't think so. Uh, sort go, it. Okay, if you want to submit this feedback, go to tcgs.co slash dear tcgs. Cool. Well, let's get uh, to the news and Sean. Stepping up to the plate once again. Here we go. I mean, on a big week as well. Big week for news. Oh, so. yeah. It's ab absolutely massive, mate. Big pressure um, on you this week, Sean. Um, Animal Crossing Lego has been leaked. Is reported oh, the shit. Way. Oh, that's brilliant. I didn't I mean, know yeah. this. Mate, total, this is the, a live sense, reaction to the news. <laughs> uh, that sounds <laughs> fucking Don't great. It's like you're getting in on the reaction game now, Dave. Just because John's... Yeah, just because uh, Mr. Yeah, reaction's well, here. Actually, yeah, but exactly. Um, I could do that. I can react. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not quite the same, though, is it? Reacting to Lego is not got the same. Oh, sort of I that must be a is thing. It, just yeah, I'm sure it channels. is. Yeah, yeah. How do you react to Lego? Go on. Um, it, yeah, man. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go, whoa, look at them bricks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I. <laughs> I just had a vision of John doing like a a course in how to react to things, and just putting his <laughs> hand on someone's shoulder and just going, "You just did it, mate. You just did it." And it goes, did I, John? Yeah. It's not a bad idea, actually. A little skill share. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Do on Zoom. Yeah. You get loads of money. Yeah. yeah, mate. And then react to your own lessons. I'll yeah. watch that. Yeah. Well, you're going to be in the course, so you will be watching. <laughs> I will. I will. Go on. Uh, yeah, so there is an Instagram account that does Lego leaks. It's called Exabricks Lego Go Lego Go <laughs> underscore. What a fucking wild, fucking niche yeah. thing to do. Um, is well, well, here we are talking Lego. about it. So it must yeah, sure. it's job. working. It's working. <laughs> oh, it's sure. I mean, Very this impressive. is from Eurogamer. So I've no idea how reputable this this Instagram account is, but yeah, they have leaked. Um, there's going to be like a range of Animal Crossing Lego stuff. They don't say what it is. Just that it's going to range from fifteen dollars to seventy-five. Um, so there's going to be like those are different size kits. I'll oh, probably you say end you up don't know how this. reputable this this Instagram account is because yeah. all you have to do is click on the link and say they've got one post about Lego Animal Crossing <laughs> and they've got fourteen posts got about 15, Lego dildos. Fifteen thousand followers. There's just there's just tons of Lego. Yeah, it's dildo all just selling posts. Ray Bans. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's really like surreal. It's literally just basically almost every post is just here's a list of things that we think are coming out. <laughs> okay, Animal Crossing Lego though. That's fucking great. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds yeah, awesome. Makes sense. It makes so much sense as well. Yeah, because you you build the fucking what's that place that you go to shop? The shop. Yeah, yeah the, the old museum. Uh, museum. museum. Yeah. All the one buildings. Of, uh, one of the houses. Um, all the buildings. You got all the buildings there, haven't you? And you do the outside as well, couldn't you? As well as the sure. inside. So you could, yeah. You do could the do grass. Grass and trees and rivers. You could do a tree, yeah. You the could potential do that. is limitless. It is. <laughs> and that's what I've always loved about Lego, Sean. Yeah. The potential. You can actually yeah. make one. <laughs> I'm never going to buy these, but it would be cool to see them. You know, with LED, no. James, James Farley will buy these. 100%. Oh, James Farley's going to have the full set. He'll have the full set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. He's um, he, he 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 absolutely loves Lego for some reason. It's weird. I mean, where do you put this stuff? That's that's something I've, I've you know like hey, the idea the idea is nice, but I've got nowhere to put it. I'm not going to have something else collecting dust. No way, mm. Matt. You've mm. got a fucking neon TCGS sign up on your wall. You'll find <laughs> yeah, that's space on, that's for on a the fucking wall. Lego set. That's on the wall. Yeah, you just put like a shelf up. up. You could put a shelf up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I thought about getting a custom shelf unit thing in here, but then 
I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got plenty of space then. Stop fucking moaning. Yeah. Why are you right. sweating? Are you getting it's very hot in there because I've got his lights. This light in the background yeah. is killing me. <laughs> oh my God, they've exposed me. <laughs> yeah. He's just like dripping with sweat. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. What? What? I mean, weren't they supposed to be bringing Zelda ones out soon? Was that a thing? But, yeah, that was a that was a rumor doing the rounds. I think Animal Crossing Lego makes more sense. But yeah, um, are you are you into your Lego, John? Is that something that you've had to go through with the kids? No, not really. Uh, my eldest really? was never. No, not massively. He was never massively into to Lego. Um, my youngest likes it a bit more, but he got bored. We, he got some stuff for Christmas, and he got bored about. 10 minutes into the building process so i finished oh, it love that. and then yeah that was that but they've they've kind of looked at the mario lego and been mm. like yeah uh, i kind of like that but we just knew it's just kind of a waste of money uh, and a waste well, of yeah, time. So, yeah absolutely right yeah it's... they've got no massive interest in animal crossing but it's interesting mm. isn't it how like nintendo's clearly branching out into like being a proper sort of multiverse type company with the, the movie and then like there's rumors of the zelda movie and you know, I'm sure they're yeah. going to make brand, you know, make as much um, sort of IP as possible and sort of take it in every single direction that they can. I mean, they've always merchandised everything, but mm. it does feel like they're trying to get on that kind of like Disney Marvel thing and become yeah. ubiquitous. Yeah, they got they got so stung in the nineties with shit like where mm. they were bringing stuff out and it was crap. Um, that I think they, yeah, they had a company policy of just not branching out. Which and is weird, they're right? over because that what, now. like, what changed? Because it's not like there weren't any good movies in the 90s. Um, I think I mean? John's right. I think the expansion of Disney made a big impact because it always I felt like they wanted the to be the blueprint. Disney of the gaming world or whatever. Mm. And then when you see what Disney are doing with, well, Marvel probably had another bigger impact because you're looking mm. at the amount of films they were pumping out, the amount of money they were making, and not just within the film space. Like it was selling comic books, it was selling uh, T-shirts, and fuck it, it's everywhere. Um, and I, you know, I guess I like it. Because I fucking love, like, I'm one of those weirdos that when you're walking around, you see little Mario's face somewhere, you're like, oh, it's, it's fucking Mario, man, that's cool. It's still, um, I know we've we mentioned this before, but it still blows my fucking mind that I can take Isaac into Primark, Asda, fucking wherever, and it's like, yeah, Minecraft merch. Of course there yeah. is. Why wouldn't there yeah, be? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's still yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and the good stuff about the Mario stuff at the moment is, all right, not so much for the Lego stuff, but... But the majority of the Mario stuff is like cheap. It's like affordable, yeah. and that, that's what Marvel like smash. When you mm. walk around, like you, you say, you're going to Primark or whatever, you can buy a T-shirt for the kids for like three quid. Mm. I mean, you know, you worry about where it's come from. Okay, but so it's got yeah, Marvel yeah. on it, so it's all, all right. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, Whack you, you, it on yeah, you you with yeah it. you'd it's expect good. to pay a premium for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Whatever, yeah. Um, but they don't seem to do that. So, mm. um, yeah, no, I like I like the fact that that um, Nintendo are branching out, and I, like I'm bang up for some new new films and stuff. Like I really mm. like the uh, the Mario movie. Uh, we've watched it like tons of times now. So mm. to like to think there's still, I mean, there's definitely going to be. They're working on a second one already, no doubt. You mm. don't earn that much money from one fucking film not to. Not to oh, yeah. immediately start. Now we just don't. Yeah, we just leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we'll watch that when it comes out. But I love all this shit. I love all this shit. I really do. Um, I, I used to love Lego when I was young, but I think a lot about like the decision someone inside Lego made to like start getting involved with licenses. Because mm. now, if you go into a Lego store, like so, like ninety percent of it is yeah. is the license stuff. So like, that's such a genius move for them. Say, so let's, you know. L I mean, let's get involved like and do that the, like the lego city and like the lego friends stuff is also huge um, yeah it is, yeah it's yeah, yeah. That's Ninja, own TV that shows that and, is because yeah. So, yeah someone thought oh well they do marvel stuff or whatever and then got involved through that you know uh, that's brilliant uh i don't know we'll see we'll see mm. hopefully it comes out because i quite like that that's pretty cool yeah. i mean as you said i don't think i'll be buying it but seeing the sets and what they do with it, it's always nice yeah, I mean, Ella Deagle like loads of Harry Potter sets and stuff for not maybe I think it's the Christmas before last, but probably not, probably not into as much these days. But yeah, she she loves it for for a period for sure. But I don't think she's as into it now to to bother with this. But hey, cool to see. All right, Microsoft are now selling official replacement parts for your controllers. Oh, that's good. It is. It's it's because uh, apparently they've they've had this general uh, right to repair movement. For the last couple of years now, um, 
and this is uh, another extension of that um so yeah it's it's one of those where it's not really like you could obviously you could already get these replacement parts right there's there's already websites to do it or there's resells on amazon whatever um so it's not it's not that you couldn't do this before but it is interesting to see a console manufacturer going yeah repair your shit don't just fucking throw it away well yeah um, i mean it's a huge thing because at the moment mm -hmm. you you have it for a year and if it fucks up in a year you can get it replaced mm -hmm. or repaired for free mm -hmm. but if you can't it's literally pointless sending yeah. it off to get it replaced because you haven't got a pad for two weeks and it mm -hmm. costs you half the half the amount of a pad anyway you know to mm -hmm. get fixed and honestly i've opened up these pads a million times and it's really easy to do yeah. so yeah, to really offer replacement case, stuff is the way it should happen really yeah. um so it's pretty cool that they're doing their own stuff but you're right yeah you could buy like replacement shit before but mm. you could never rely on it you always worry yeah. that it's just gonna be a pile of shit that yeah comes and i suppose the, the, the nice thing is like they're doing like all their own sort of official tutorial videos to go along with it as well so it's oh, not just here's great. the parts do what you want like it's yeah they're actually producing guides and stuff which is cool um, they do some good stuff microsoft don't they and all, all they mm. need now is to do some games and that yeah, release a game. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> we, we could just use some games. Are you still are you still a uh, elite uh, guy, John? No, it broke, didn't it? <laughs> it <fucking broke. laughs> but you well, didn't you have two? Of, you had two of them, no, or just the one? No, just one. Um, no, it was Chris that had two. Sorry, I was fixing my chair. Um, right. Yeah, no, the A button was sticking, and then I think stopped working completely, and then I dropped it, and this is a wooden floor, and everything just pinged off it. And then I couldn't <laughs> find one of the bits, and I was like, "This is fucking shit." Um, <laughs> and I was loath to to ever give money for another pad, to be honest. But I just got a, a red pad, and then even that doesn't work with the play and charge properly. So overall, very disappointed. But yeah, why the elite pad. With, what, why doesn't it work with the play and charge? What? <sighs> I haven't really sat down to try and fix it. I just forget, and then I've just been using double A's. This isn't interesting. But um, <laughs> the elite pad, yeah, don't get an elite pad. Like, fuck off. 150 quid. Yeah, I mm. mean, obviously, it didn't make me any better at games because it's not going to, but it did feel really nice. But yeah, it, it broke. And they announced when they did their new one for the for the series, um, the, the version 2 or 3 or whatever the hell it is, yeah, elite pad that it was too, better yeah. build quality. And it's like, why is that an issue for 150 pounds? Yeah, yeah, it's totally. Really have been anywhere better I'm an idiot to go, should be even buying it. <laughs> I don't even especially know when, it. especially when their their pads, in my experience, their standard pads are like the most reliable ones that mm. I've ever had. Like I, I, I can go yeah, pretty much. three, four years without needing a new um, Xbox pad, but I've mm. I've already needed a new PS5 pad. Yeah, fucking so. god knows how many so. Joy Cons we've gone through. You know, it's mm. nuts. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't even so use they're... Joy Cons anymore. They're so shit. Yeah, the standard pads are like really fucking good. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. It's I've heard nothing but bad things about yeah, the Elite it was, it was controller. It was an idiot move yeah. from me, but there we go. You wanted to be better, mate. I don't know. I, I think aspiration. <laughs> be elite. <laughs> well, it's, be one of, elite. it's one of those things. I think it's fair enough. Like yeah, when you know you add up how many fucking hours you, you wanted to pay to thing. win, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but if right you're looking right at it as like a cost per <laughs> use, it's mm. pennies in the, like, it, or, yeah. or it should be if it lasts several years. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. break as soon as you drop it. But that's fucking. So mad. I get it, but it's yeah, it's just a shame it's not that good. No um, bad. So this is how how badly we're scraping the barrel. Red Dead Redemption is coming to the PlayStation Four and Nintendo Switch. It's fucking weird, isn't it? It is a bit strange. I mean, on the one hand, why not? But also yeah. just like, oh. Why yeah, the okay. PS4? Oh, I guess you could play it on PS5 and you can already get it on the on the Xbox. Yeah, I guess That's it's it. not on you Xbox. You can already play it because... on Xbox. Yeah. yeah. So... And it's been up. up right, I've read some stuff, isn't it? So up That's why it's on If they did Xbox. it on PS5, it would have to be a proper... They'd have to do yeah. something to it, basically, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. But there's loads of rumours about that. Like That's been rumoured for ages. Yeah, like, the the rumours keep getting bigger and bigger that there will be a big, full remaster of Red Dead. So for this, when well, I think James posted a tweet, I was like, oh, is this the remaster they finally announced after the rumour? No, this is just the original version. The fucking tone of that game is so different to Red Dead 2, though. Like, you go and watch it and everything's like slapstick, sort of, isn't it the West weird? It's really weird going back and looking at that world and going, holy shit, how serious was it? in Red Dead Redemption 2 like so <laughs> fucking serious um, well, the uh, fact that, but and even then you know because so this will include the the DLC the Undead Nightmare thing mm. um, which broadly speaking because you know obviously like the 360 era you know is when people really started experimenting with DLC stuff and I quite liked 
examples where they were like, right, let's let's rather than doing another thing that's like sort of some extra missions that basically are just part of the main story or whatever, like let's do something weird and completely different. Yeah. But then this was the one where I was like, no, I like these characters too much. This feels really wrong. No, no, for not me. for me. This was brilliant. I fucking yeah. adored the the uh, Undead Nightmare, but but mainly because it was like. You know, it would be like, yeah, it was like a very, a, a, a world that you really knew. Mm. It was like playing Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask. Do you know what I mean? It's right, like yeah, all the yeah, shit yeah. that you knew, but weird stuff happening this time. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, seeing some of the characters that you've met along the way of Red Dead Redemption and then suddenly they're fighting zombies. It mm. was, I really thought it was clever and I really liked it. And um, and uh, yeah, because I, I got it on disc. They released it separately like a physical copy of it as well i don't know why mm. i got it on disc um but well, yeah right, no, again there, yeah because there was there was this and there was like far cry blood dragon stuff they were actually standalone weren't they blood dragon DLC, yeah that was another were... one yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that was really fucking cool blood dragon mm. you know um for what it was you know it wasn't mm. the best game ever and i think some people look back on it too fondly um because it does you know have have some uh, faults but but mm. the the idea behind it is just like faultless like i really like it mm. um but 50 quid on nintendo switch or 50 dollars on nintendo yeah. switch is so a bit is. of a piss take mm -hmm. yeah that is a piss take yeah like, for I, I a game that's not, not like... even been up -rezzed or changed well yeah like, like, I, I it's, not, it's not free to port a game to a new piece of hardware but yeah i don't know no, but it's it's, it's kind of like I would, pay, I would buy that and play that on switch if it was 20 dollars mm. like i genuinely yeah. would yeah, yeah. Um, and I can't see me getting anywhere near it for for fifty dollars. No, no. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, the P yeah, the PS4 thing. Yeah, I think that's what it is because PS5 is backwards compatible. It doesn't really matter, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. But it's I guess weird it's... that they don't say that though. Like it, the the news stories are saying it's coming to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation Four. It mm. doesn't specifically say. Oh, it does. It does in the story, but the headline doesn't specifically say no you're going to be able to play this on ps5 as well yeah or do they just eh, i don't know do they That'd just be a long headline though, wouldn't it yeah uh it would yeah it would actually yeah and the attention span of also backwards compatible is on xbox yeah. um but i guess it means we're not going to remaster anytime soon or even announce anytime soon if this is i don't want to remaster it's so it's gone now that game like mm. honestly i think we, uh, when you're rem when you're remastering games like uh, I don't know Goldeneye and stuff, it's not so story driven. Whereas mm. this is story driven, and actually we've moved on in terms of storytelling in video games. And I, as mm. good as the story was in there, it's on... still better than ninety eight percent of <laughs> game stories. It's just that's, not that's, true. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Well, that's true. We've moved on. But... I mean, we... so here, well, here's a question. So say say they remaster the the first one. Technically not the first one, Red Dead Revolver was you know, no one cares. Um oh, yeah. say that yeah, they remaster it and you're like, right, I'm gonna play them both. I wanna I wanna see the whole story again. Which order do you play them in? You definitely Rele play them in Red Dead Revolver order or yeah. chronological. You've got to play them in release order just because Yeah. yeah. But, but more less for the story and more for the mechanics and you know yeah. the fact that it's on a yeah, different true. generation of hardware for the for the yeah. second one, I think. No, I'm not going to do this, that, It's way too long. This is, this is what fucking pisses me off about, um, you know, when we were doing the Star Calls and people were like, no, don't watch it in chronological order. Watch it on... No, watch it in not, not release order. Yeah. Watch it as the, you know... <laughs> a, and I was going, yeah, yeah, watch the prequels first. Yeah. And looking back at that now, knowing what I know from Star Wars, I think... But hold on. The first one, A New Hope, when, like... Obi Wan goes. The, the, was it not Obi Wan? I can't even remember the fucking name. Brilliant, Dave. You've nailed this. <laughs> yeah. but you know the old man at the start of A New Hope goes. Oh no, he was. You know your dad. Yeah, he was mm. Jedi and he died. Mm. But you go. But no, I know that's not true. <laughs> so this is just frustrating. Yeah. Luke, like, I am oh. your father. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Could you imagine if I watched it in that order that everyone was telling me to watch it? It would have been fucking mad. Really weird. would have been crazy. Do you, do you think is that people wanting like the quality to just escalate though? Uh, I than... think that's part of it. Get mm. get the fucking sequels out of the way. Jesus yeah. Christ! Um, and also, people try to be smart. Yeah, I reckon. That. I mean, that's on the, as well. You're saying a remaster won't work. I mean, obviously, they remastered Last of Us. I thought that, and yeah, in that the in the Last of Us Two engine and mold and that worked really well. They yeah, could do this I, in that Red Dead Two style and go back and watch some of the cutscenes from Red Dead One. And I didn't it, actually it, finish Red Dead 1, so maybe I should go and play it. 
I, no, I, I, I'm sl- I mean, I, I'll need to go back and, uh, and watch it or, or play it. But yeah, I didn't realize you were so upset about it. <laughs> no, I wasn't upset about it. Like, I still loved it. But like, I finished Red Dead 2 and then I mm. watched loads of stuff from Red Dead 1 because it was amazing how much that happened in that first game that's referenced in the second mm. game. But then I'd forgotten how much of the slapstick shit was in it. And I was like, whoa, that hasn't aged well. It's like, ooh, do, do, ooh, ooh. And I'm like, fucking hell, this is a bit... It's like way cartoonier than mm. you remember it being. You know what I mean? Well, because like, what's yeah. funny is that that's like westerns as a genre like as a film genre encompass both ends of that as well right so it's not like right. it's not like either of them is like well that's not that's not a western you can't do that like, they're both valid sure but sure just but yeah they're, yeah they're yeah yeah totally yeah the early westerns other, were a bit like stupid and silly and yeah yeah, yeah. you're yeah. absolutely right um okay that's enough red dead for now last bit of news so we talked last week about how uh someone from hasbro um mentioned that activision have lost all the Transformers games that they, they worked on. Um, <laughs> Activision basically said, that's not true. And Hasbro have had to uh, give an apology uh, <laughs> for, for, for claiming that these games were lost. Apparently they're definitely lot, not lost and it's fine. It was interesting, the, the reporting around this, because the story we referenced last week was Activision has lost these Transformers games. But then some sites reported it as like, Hasbro want all these games on Game Pass and Activision is preventing it by not knowing where the games are. And it was the comment from Hasbro was just I think I think we read out the quote, didn't we? I said like Right. It was yeah, Activision don't know where the games are, um, which is a shame because they would be a really neat addition to Game Pass or, or whatever. Um so yeah, and it also got spun into like Hasbro accuses Activision of not being able to put them on game. Anyway, apparently Activision haven't definitely haven't lost them and Hasbro have said sorry. Um, but yeah, none of those games are available digitally anywhere at the moment, which is weird. Um, but they're definitely not lost, though. So. Hundred percent not lost. But, but they're but just then, not available. But they're not lost. They're, yeah. They've got them. They can release them whenever sure, they want. The, they're just the not of, doing it. The lack of ab- availability is a licensing thing, right? Presumably, in which case that's Hasbro's issue. So I don't know. I'm not a Transformers guy. I don't know what we've talked about this for way too long. There was there was some <laughs> I just follow-up. I can't imagine ever wanting to play a Transformers game in 2023. If I'm honest with you, I can't wait if for these I'm all on... to come out again. And the... someone's like, "Yeah, you're gonna fucking buy them all since you fucking moaned about it on the show." Yeah, like, and they straight. won't. It was yeah. like, do you remember when fucking everyone was going, oh, "I want a new Mirror's Edge. Oh, I want a new Mirror's oh, Edge. Bring out a new Mirror's Edge. Here's a new Mirror's Edge." Ah, I buy that. I mean, in all fairness, what we all said was, "Do the new Mirror's Edge." It was without shit. guns. Right. And then they went, what ah, we all about. said, more what, guns. <laughs> what we all said, yeah, but still, absolutely no interest in that series when they yeah. fucking bought it out. Apparently, um, if you if you play that second one with like zero baggage or expectations or whatever, it's a perfectly good time. Um, <laughs> but obviously, we were all so hyped for it, and then the reviews are like, you mm. a big Mirror's Edge guy, Sean? I never knew that. I'd I love the first level. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Because we all played the fuck out of the demo and we're like, holy shit, this is going to be amazing. And then all like the rest of the levels had all those like internal spaces that were actually quite difficult to... I mean, watching speedruns of them is amazing. But as a new player, just all that flow just went completely. It never we clicked like, with me. I never liked looking it. Looking at office buildings, just being like, I don't fucking know. I, yeah, I remember, I, all I, I remember playing that game for the first time. So why am I looking at a fucking wall at 90% <laughs> of playing this game? Why yeah. am I sliding down next to a red pipe because I was slightly off? <laughs> I never got on with that game for some reason. Yeah. It was just not for me. It still um, looks amazing, even the first one. The, yeah, really the, first, yeah the, the art style kind of... Mm. Uh, t- two things um they call him mirror straight edge also two um i heard about an achievement whereby if you like don't shoot anyone well, there's an achievement to get through the whole first game without shooting anyone i was like i'm gonna do that and you know uh, i basically yeah. did the whole game and yeah. didn't shoot anyone are you I, fucking kidding me i know what what are you really I... telling the story about you playing through Mirror's Edge to get that achievement what? again and then realising that you'd shot someone <laughs> yes, in the well, first I level? I thought I would just before you hadn't heard it, David. Again, you're really doing that again. Oh, okay, well, no, no. no, no I haven't been I on mean... the show for five years and I've, I remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blast from the past. <laughs> well, anyway, what happened was, and I forget it. Do you remember when the, when the test goes for the PS4 launch? <laughs> um, are we done for? Are we done with the news? We're incredible. Yes. Oh, oh, it's a big no, week. Sean's bullshit 
bonanza or whatever you called it. I, I, swear, I mean, I could have put the Animal Crossing Legos Bells, Bells Bullshit Arena, but... Ah, nah. you put it in the news instead. Well, we, haven't got a, <laughs> we haven't got a theme for it. I'm not, I'm not doing a theme Well, let's get it. to what you've been playing. and um... Before we do that, I'm going for a piss. So you said... Okay. okay. So, yeah, I'll be <laughs> yeah, back. <I> did. <laughs> so I'll explain to the listeners... Um, uh, John sent me a message today as saying. I thought you were going to oh, say John, John's got like bladder issues. Uh, <laughs> <so he needs> to... <laughs> right, okay. I'll tell you this story as well in a minute. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I'm also going to tell you. Okay, then. right. Okay. So, <laughs> fuck me. Right, there's so much has happened in the past second. So John texted me today and just said, "What do I need? What What should I do if I really need a piss?" Okay. And I said. Tell us you really need a piss and then just go, go for, for a, a piss, piss. John. <laughs> and he went, all right, okay, I'll do that. So that's why he was so abrupt because of that. <laughs> um, sh- wait, okay, let me... So Harry is not staying with us at the moment. He's staying with my mum and dad down in Margate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so he's obviously missing us or whatever. He sent us a message saying... Oh, Joy-Con isn't working. Look, but how's right, Joy-Con's so not working? <laughs> just take this off, look. Ooh. It's not working, right? Yeah. yeah so anyway, yeah. sorry. So I said, look, popped it out. That was yeah. No, I said, look, I don't know, mate. You know, I can't <laughs> help you. Yeah. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Mm. He hasn't really replied. Um. So then he said, "How are you?" So I said, "I'm just about to record the pod." There's me doing a f- yeah, selfie. Yeah, yeah. He sent <laughs> me that <laughs> little <laughs> animation underneath it. Yeah. And then he sent me the skibbity dip 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 guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he replied in all caps. Oh my god! I just made it work. <laughs> so Amazing. He's having a wild time. Oh, should we, Dave? While we're while no one else is here, um, yeah, you can't say, but I'm going to text you who told me that I have nice lips. And you, oh, go on then. And you can just you can just visually. Mm. Uh, I won't say. I'll tell um, you the full story. I was just saying, John. Um, my son just sent me that. Yeah. Don't show it on the screen. I'm about to message it. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, That's yeah. all right, isn't it? Mm. They didn't see that. No, they don't think they saw it. I think it was out of focus. see it on the screen. Um, uh, oh, yeah, and also, I just realised why you didn't get the link to the vid ninja you thing to the wrong email address no i copied and pasted your email that you posted it this my fault i'm not saying it's your fault because i, didn't put I the copied com. you didn't put the dot com and i, I copied and pasted it, it i thought about it, it and i was like he'll um he'll figure it out nah, <laughs> he didn't figure it out nope. figure it out baby. <clears throat> right Back to where we were. Um, people that watch this live on Twitch and stuff, they like it when we do this, so we're going to do this. Ready? Yeah. And that's it for the news then, is it? There's no Bell Bullshit Arena or anything? No Bell's Bullshit no. Arena, mate. Okay. I nearly put the Animal Crossing thing in as Bell's Bullshit Arena because I have genuinely no idea if that's true or not. Best but, but I just to thought, actually, no, you are, I'm factual. confident. Yeah. Excellent. Well done there, uh, Sean. Thanks for okay, that. Thanks. Um, thanks. What have no you worries. been playing then? And uh, I think... We're going to start with Matt this week. Ah, cheeky. Lovely old job. Matt. I should play games this week. I should play two games. Two oh, yeah. very I'm short playing. games. <laughs> 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 That's, that always helps. But two games on the list. Um, I've been playing Venba. Uh, which, Venba Bar. Uh, Venba Bar, yeah. Um, uh, Sean, you've also been playing Venba, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I played and finished it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's about an hour, hour and a half, would you say? It's very what? short. That's yeah. out of order, isn't it? How much are you charging for that? Well, it's on Game Pass, so I don't know, but I, I, I don't know oh, what the actual not, other price is, but it's uh, on yeah. Game Pass. Yeah, it's... Um, it's not so, a concern. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not a concern for us. Not a concern for us, games, Game Pass. I think I'm £11.46 like... on the oh, okay. Switch. Oh, not for an hour, is it? Go uh, on, what, then. hour or two? Would you say... How, how, I, all I remember is I, I remember loading up thinking oh, I'll play a bit of this before bed and then went, oh I've finished it. <laughs> I mean, it's time for bed now. Um, I mean it, it sounds like we're being negative. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, um, it was a tiny little experience, but I think it works really well. So um, it's uh, it's 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 an indie game, but basically involves a lot of 
story about um i mean i'm, I'm gonna butcher sean so you, 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 you no 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 sean shit. just be quiet no, for a bit no, i want to no, hear matt butcher this I, I, i'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck this um <laughs> basically it's, an it's, indie, about, it's an indie game uh, is it matt Go about, on. it's about a, yeah it's about a family uh predominantly oh, yeah. um predominantly the uh a, a mum and dad and it's about how cooking kind of connects <laughs> them and their family and kind of talks about their culture essentially it's like a it's a short game but what it does do really well is it's got these nice little puzzles where you uh where you have to cook certain meals and have to do things in certain orders um which is nice because you get to learn about the food and about the culture and that kind of tells the story of of the family how, and, uh, how do you learn about the food and the culture well how does it do that uh, I, I don't know actually sean you better help me <laughs> what, what <do> <laughs> i'm not prepared to <laughs> talk about this that much pulling the ripcord i'll join jump in um, no what the okay. fuck what, what, how do you not know? <laughs> what do you mean you play the game and it's it's about food and culture and you don't know how it's about that no, 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 no. I know, I know it's about that. I'm just uh, trying to uh, articulate what I mean exactly. Um, essentially, it's telling a story over over multiple he didn't talk years about it of this family. Funny, so he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah. If it, yeah, if it's well, actually a good point, yeah. Actually, maybe I should have done that. Uh, Sean, yeah. hello. Um, yeah, because it's it's about this uh, an Indian couple who moved to Canada. <laughs> Someone's put this will be Matt and... Scotty. <laughs> Ben's put that in the chat. Um, it's about yeah about an indian couple that have moved to um canada and yeah very early on uh venba the main character she discovers that she's pregnant and it's yeah it's about how food culture sort of ties the generations together right so she's she's got like her mum's cookbook and she's making stuff from that and then it's about how that transmits to her child and how that's initially like i don't want to spoil it it's, and it is very short, so one sentence could be like, "Oh, well, that's the second half of the game blown out the water." Then, yeah. Um, but yeah, it sort of touches on how they get yeah, an so air fryer. It, yeah, get an air fryer. <laughs> just sorts everything. Out. It's had a twist. <laughs> it's had a big twist. There's yeah, all this like ancient the sun, fucking got an air recipes. Fryer they there. get an air fryer and they go, "Well, yeah. fat this." Let's get some chicken wings. In one thing. Um, Honestly, it takes heart. It takes a fraction of the time, and the chicken wings taste better. <laughs> um but it's yeah it's about how like her kid um because you know so them is like really obviously really proud of her heritage and, and food and stuff and but then in trying to make that a shared thing with her child the child is like well no i'm getting shit for this from my friends because i eat weird food um mm. and it's yeah and and how he sort of comes to terms with that over the years it's really beautifully done um like the story is really nicely told. It is very short, and I'm and I'm not so, like I don't mind short games, right? I really I, I love short games. I did feel like the ending to this was quite abrupt. I don't know if you were the same, Matt. Like yeah, it, I want question. yeah. Without spoiling, it, I wanted more. Sorry, you don't yeah. have to put your hand up, John. You can just yeah, ask. It's fine. I didn't want to just shout over everyone. What can do you do, do in the game? Yeah. So <laughs> outside of the story bits, you so yeah, you're making food, but the idea right. is so initially it's. So you play as Vemba and you're following your mum's cookbook and the cookbook's kind of fucked. There's oil stains and bits torn out and stuff like that. So you're looking at these recipes and then you're looking at the table where you've kind of set everything out. You've got all your ingredients and stuff. And you're basically like clicking and dragging stuff around, right, to try and make um, the meal. And But yeah, with bits of the instructions missing and you're kind of having to improvise and figure out logically the bits that you, you can't see in the, in the, the book. Um, but then what's really cool is... Like it says onion, and you're like, okay, I can't yeah, like shit carrot. banana. I don't know. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whack a carrot in their lid. But the, 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 so, egg and basically the, the ways in which it sort of wrong foots you, again, I don't want to spoil it, but that sort of shifts through the game and that sort of, every time you, you start a new recipe, you're like, oh, okay, this is how it's fucking me over this time. But it's always fun. Um, and yeah, like Matt says, like I've come away like, fuck, I really want to learn how to make a proper layered biryani now. Yes, I mean, yeah, I was amazing. quite hungry playing this because yeah. it, yeah, all the food yeah. looked great or sounded great. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful game, really, really lovely. The sound design's incredible, like just the, all the fucking sounds when you when you're making stuff. Um, like, yeah, really lovely game to listen to as much as anything else. Um, yeah, it's super short. I really enjoyed my time with it. Um, like it, I know it's one of those where you're like, you know, it was on Game Pass, so it doesn't matter that it was really short. Um, I do, I do think like if I'd spent whatever it was, eleven pound, whatever for a Switch version, I'm 
I do think I'd be happy. Like, I'd really want to get new to play it as well. Um, I'm still a little bit confused about the structure. So you mm. do a mill, and then mm-hmm. what? Is there a story bit? And in then between? there's a bit of story, yeah. and then yeah. Right. So basically, and yeah, it, it's and she gets older, and between... what it goes through her life or whatever, or yeah. what's the deal? Yeah, so yeah it goes over many years. Of, yeah, vignettes. Um, so it'll skip a couple of years every every so often. Um, yeah, someone and that, goes, that can you it. please start learning a new fucking mill? I'm so sick of eating biryani every <laughs> night. And then three years later, she's like, yeah, well, I'll try a new one. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah cool. it, really it, it, it. I mean, so as you build his mills, it's got a rewind mechanic, which I used a lot because mm. a lot of like, hey, is this the order it wants me to do? No, it's like, no, you, you, know, you fucked up. There is a good hint system as well if you want to do that, but the uh, rewind is good enough for you to just keep doing that and keep experimenting with it. There was a couple, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I quite get that because I was ticking and dragging things and it was like, no, can't do that, can't do that. But um, Yeah, because yeah. I think the idea is that in all cases, yeah, where where you are missing this, you know, the next step in the instructions, you can logically work it out. But there were definitely there was a couple of bits where I was like, I'm just gonna have to you mm. know, trial and error this. Um, but maybe that's me being thick. I don't. Yeah, know. No, there's yeah. one I tra- kept trying like different orders. Like, how is this not working? But I just had to mm. do something. But no, um, it was yeah, follow your person. I think I think you're right. I mean, I, I, for eleven quid, it's like a nice little encapsulated story and experience. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. will play that. Mm. Then you should. And then go yeah. and make a curry because it looks really fun. Yeah, I've always wanted to make a fucking curry from scratch. Use those jars. I've, I've done it before. It's just sick. it was one of those things that obviously when you have kids, meals that take loads of effort are suddenly not not as. Pot noodles every night, baby. Get those super <laughs> noodles on. Far, but yeah, I mean the beer yeah, I look good. The, 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 the first the first thing you cook, Sean, looks also awesome. Whatever those little oh, the like Italy's. Yeah, they look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they they look nice. good. Um, yeah, really I've good. also been playing The Expanse or episode one of The Expanse. <clears throat> I know Sean, you played that as well. And yes. like a lot of these uh, Telltale games, we're not going to go into the story, obviously, because that ruins it. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I think oh, um, episode one, I really, I really enjoyed it. I have not watched a TV show. We've been over this. I watched mm-hmm. the first two episodes. It looked rubbish. I stopped. I know Evan says it's amazing, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe this will make me start watching it again. But um yeah, watched, uh, played the first one, enjoyed it, re-enjoyed the characters, enjoyed the story, and I'm excited to play more. But I am kind of blown away with some of the issues this game has still got. It feels quite oh, low on. budget. I don't know, Do about, I don't know about you, Sean, but I had mm. like issue, like issues such as like the um, on-screen text. Sorry, the subtitles not keeping up with like, the on-screen kind of dialogue. So like, oh, I didn't. Know so that. I was just like, what's oh, what's it? another bit where I was like looking at something on a bedpost. And the second it loads, it's all like super blurry and pixelated, and it takes like two seconds to like load the actual texture in. Oh, um, I had like audio PS5. hang-ups, all sorts of stuff. I'm like, man, it, it feels quite low budget. I don't know what you think, Sean. Okay, well, I'm I'm getting anxious now because James asked me if there were any technical issues, and I assured him that I didn't have any. So, <laughs> why is that, what, what is te- is James using you as his game tester? Right? <laughs> What's going on with that? Well, because I think he was anxious because obviously we've, we've seen this with Telltale stuff in the past. I mean, obviously Telltale now is not. What yes, it's, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's different. Yeah, um, but obviously they were notorious for launching with with technical issues. So yeah, James, I think he was just asking, like, are there any technical problems with it? Because I, you know, I think he'd, he'd be happy to wait until it's patched. So yeah, I was like, no, it's absolutely flawless. Don't worry about it, mate. Um, I played on Xbox. Are you PS5, Matt. Well, hold on, pause it, pause it for a sec. You, you can, you can mute your camera. You could, you could hide your camera? camera if you want for a bit, John. Sorry. Sorry. No We've got a situation. <laughs> got okay, a well, situation. we'll have a pause. Have a pause. Yeah. <laughs> have a little pause. Sorry, it's oh, just man. too distracting. <laughs> oh, I can't hear him going, no, get it later. And he went, no, I want it now. I was like, oh, God, I can relate to that shit. Uh, a special guest. Says, Shall I... Uh, hang on, I'll just turn his feed off on the... Yeah, do that. Do that, yeah. What what happens then? Does that just pause it then there? Oh no, on the thing. Oh, oh I yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. We're all good. Yeah, I'll explain that. So all right, he turned right. your he turned your thing off on Twitch. So he turned your uh, camera off on Twitch then. But if you, if if that happens again, if anything happens, just turn it. You can turn your camera off. It's all good. Oh, okay. Like this, like this. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, cool, I'll do that. Uh, uh, so where were we up to? Right, so uh, technical issues. Right, technical oh, yeah, so issues. That's, yeah. So were you, I was playing on Xbox, Matt. Were you on PS5 or? No, I was on Xbox as well. So oh, playing, okay, right. Yeah, I was playing on Xbox. But um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I will say well, these issues didn't really detract. I was just mm. kind of blown away that it's still mm. kind of happening. I had audio mm. cutouts. It like hung about three times. I was like, don't crash for me. It didn't crash, but oh, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, looking at this thing. It's like, this is her. It's quite early on. It's not even a, a crucial story bit. But mm. when you go up to like this, <laughs> this bed frame and you can press A to like look at the thing. Mm. For it then just to be like pixelated, and you can't even see it until it like loads in after like a second or so. But whatever, <laughs> yeah. that, that didn't detract. I mean, how, fundamentally... how much was that? Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, how much does that detract from the actual yeah, it, experience? It, it, like, didn't. it never I mean, did I... with the original Telltale games, really. Yeah, I, it, it didn't really detract. I mean, I, I was actually quite impressed with how detailed the environments look, and and it felt solid apart from those things. Where I was like, man, it's still happening in Telltale games. But, but that did it's not. Weird what this does technically isn't it like the structure of it is like it kicks off very much telltale-esque or we should say deck nine-esque as well right yeah. because basically is actually deck nine that made it um who did previous life as strange say, we should probably say as well friend of the show sarah dyer worked on it right yeah we should, uh, should, we, should we i don't know if we generally declare these things these days. Yeah, of course we do. They're... When when have we never? Because we've never been in a situation like this before, That's apart true, yeah, from when yeah, we're yeah. taking the piss out of Matt Murray from his <laughs> uh, thing. But yeah, we should be open and honest. Yeah, so about it. Do I don't. Management for it. We we don't like we don't. Um, uh, we we you know I never feel like we adjust our opinions based on knowing people that worked on something but we we also don't uh we should mention you know it, we yeah. should mention it should yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're finding our way through this world don't of video game criticism a word we say <laughs> yeah um, don't fucking believe us Sarah's gonna <laughs> fucking shoot us if we sign it off <laughs> um, <laughs> Go on. um yeah because the, the the structure of it is is strange because it's it this whole first episode is basically about 10 15 minutes of you Going around your ship, um, talking. So, uh, do we need to roll back and explain what the expanse is? I think we should, yeah, because I don't know nothing, anything about it. Yeah. Um, so basically, the TV show and the books um, are all about. It's set 200 years in the future, or whatever. We've sort of started colonizing our solar system, but politically, it's all a bit weird. You've got Earth, where, where they've like fully automated everything, and there's no fucking jobs for anyone. So then a bunch of people went, right, fuck it, we're going to Mars, we're going to like colonize Mars, we're going to make it like a garden world, right? And then Mars is like this sort of weird, sort of militaristic, um, bit bit fascist state um, where they're like, everyone's committed to this dream of making Mars like a green planet. Well, and then fun. you've got... What's it? Not as fun. Really. Not as I, fun, I thought, no. yeah, let's go to Mars. And then you went, oh, no, it's actually yeah, fascist. It's, it's and I was bit, like, well, that's bit, a shame. Yeah, a bit miserable. Yeah, ruined it, um, sure. And then you've got the, the belt, right? The asteroid belt. In our solar system, which is full of really useful resources, so then you get uh, what they call the Belters, who are the people who, like at this point, for several generations, have just lived in space, and it's like transformed them, like physiologically and stuff. Um, and but they're like they're basically the sort of massively exploited working class, right? And they're sort of being stripped of assets to support Earth and Mars. So there's this weird political situation. Earth and Mars are constantly at each other's throats. Belt is being exploited by both. You in this play as um, Kamina Drummer, who's my favourite character from the show. Um, but this is set before the show and the books, and it's basically her. So she was part of um, this uh, political group called the OPA, the Outer Planetary Alliance, who are like, depending on who you talk to, they're the political political party for the Belters or a terrorist group. There's like different factions within that. And basically at this point in the story where the game is set, she's just broken away from one of these like extreme factions of that. Okay. So so like Matt, you know that there was like there's references to a guy called Anderson Dawes, right? He's yes. like a big character in sort of early in the show. Um so yeah, this is seems to be very much about like her sort of dealing with the trauma of having worked with him and presumably done some shady shit that she's not really going into. Um, so now hearing and, that, Matt, hearing Sean, who's experienced in that world, mm. explain that, how do you feel that like you're missing out on 
I, mean, I knew I was missing out anyway, and mm. you know, it felt like there was a lot of backstory when you know this this one particular character came, came, came mentioned. But mm. I, I, I mean, I enjoyed it enough without that. I wasn't like frustrated. I mean, right, maybe okay. maybe it will make me actually go back and try and watch the show again. Um, I didn't know that character, the one you play, is actually from the show as well. Which that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, it, it's weird because um, because they've got her actual actor that plays her in the show to do the voice. Okay. Um, but then fucking hell, I've forgotten his name. The guy who plays Anderson Dawes in the show is very famous, and I can't remember what he's fucking called. But is it they Jared have not Harris? got him. What's oh, that? Is it Jared Harris? Uh, fuck, is it? The, the, that's what Ace of Jays uh, input has implied in the chat. Oh, yeah, so. there you go. Um, yeah, so he's yeah he's not in it. He's he's hit the someone else does his voice oh, in right. the game. There's like like a sort of flashbacks and stuff. But yeah, they did not get the actual actor in. Um, so that again, as a fan of the show, that's a bit rough, but whatever. Um, so yeah, and then basically, this first episode is about you are scavenging this this huge shipwreck. So again, I say you spend this first ten fifteen minutes talking to the crew and meeting everyone, sort of getting the measure of them, little decisions about how you treat them and stuff. Um, and then there's just this really long sequence where it's just this completely open exploration thing. Where it's like there's a Fox spaceship, go and explore it. So you're flying around in like zero gravity and finding stuff, um, and the, like sort of some of your your crew are sort of exploring different bits of the ship. So like situations arrive, you got to go over and make decisions and stuff. But yeah, it, it's this this one whole section that you could probably actually race through in about ten minutes if you really wanted to. But if you're curious, you can go exploring and find other stuff. And then that's kind of it. It's <laughs> like when yeah. I said last week, I was like, oh yeah, I think I'm about halfway through it, and then after the show i loaded it up and unpaused it and i was like three seconds from the end um like i just triggered the ending cutscene, and, and that was that so yeah, I, I think it took me like 90 it, minutes but... it felt so is it, it, felt is it not doing is it not doing the whole like um important decisions moral stuff all yeah it's doing, that? doing big choices yeah yeah I mean, like it's three two clear, or three yeah it's not clear how they're gonna pan out necessarily right so you, you've had no resolution to any of these choices no. No, not yet. It's all That's just so and so will remember that. Right, right. Go, okay, I imagine they will. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's kind of too early to say if this is like good or not. I've I've enjoyed the first episode, but whether it's going to have that telltale magic, whatever that means in twenty twenty three, um, yeah, we'll we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'll say so. So. I... James was telling me that there's already a sorry Matt. The, James uh, said that there's already like a roadmap for this, so they've already set yeah, so when the, the next one's out in like what? three days. Yeah. Oh really? So, okay. Yeah, so what's the? Weeks. How are they selling it? Do you buy? Do you, you can you buy, buy them individually, or you just, no, you just buy? You the... just buy the season. Yeah, I think the the the, the shine has come off the whole episodic thing, hasn't it? No, I, I love. Now, look, like... I I think what they're doing is the right thing, right? Mm. So. I love the episodic thing. I really mm. do. I think it's great. Mm. Um, the problem was they were charging per episode and mm. people that were bailing out. I think, you know, after you play the first episode of Life is Strange, you're going, I ain't going to play any more of this shit. <laughs> so you've paid £3 for an episode and not continue to play it. But if mm. you bought the season up mm. front, you know that you're going to play it regardless because why the yeah. fuck not? You've you already paid for it. Well, so. do you remember... Um... Uh, IO Interactive when they talked about when the, you know the Hitman reboot and they were like oh yeah it's going to be great because people can just sort of buy each level if they want or if not and, and you know and it like gives them the freedom to sort of experiment with that and then right. it turned out most people just bought the game sight unseen before it had all come out they just bought the season pass straight away like no sure. one was doing that sort of piecemeal oh I'll just pick up the bits I'm interested in sort of thing right, like, right. no one bothered no so, and and I I, I... Also, think that a big part of that is a developer or a publisher coming out and saying it's all done, because mm. what you don't want to do is like loads of people buy the season and then like or not as many people buy the season as they had hoped, and then the last three episodes are just really fucking lacklustre because the mm. budget for those last three episodes goes down. Um, well, and remember the problem we have with life. Well, the problem everyone had with Life is Strange too is that the episodes were so far apart. Ah, oh, it's um, insane. They just yeah, just never yeah, gathered insane. any momentum. So yeah, the fact no. that I mean yeah, as you say, probably the whole game was was done like you know weeks ago or whatever. But the, yeah, the fact that every episode is only like a couple of weeks apart, if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah the fact they've we've we, like 
we've nailed down every two weeks there is a new episode. I, I think that's great. I mean, I was saying to Sean after I finished it, like we, I would love to do a spoiler cast. Maybe maybe it covers the whole thing in one go because I've already made two, <laughs> I think, massive fuck ups <laughs> with my, <laughs> with with the two choices. I think you can make. You are um, the worst at these games. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, one of them was like, oh fucking hell, yeah, I, two massive ones. So it would be quite good to discuss them. But well, it, um, it's interesting because I. Usually with these games, I I make the decisions that I think I would make, right? Whereas mm. with this, because I I know the character from you know six seasons of a TV show, I'm like I'm more willing to be like, well, what what? Oh, that's interesting, do, yeah, because right? you like, know that I, character. As I'm just yeah. playing the character, how I think it, you know, yeah, yeah, because be like, there's a decision at the end. I would normally be like, oh, no, let's not be too harsh with this. I'm like, no, she'd fucking, she'd do the obvious ruthless thing. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so That's interesting. Yeah, it is, yeah. So I, I think it's going to be really interesting, like, playing through this. Like, don't start watching the show halfway through. Like, I reckon we've finished <laughs> no. this and, like, yeah, it'd just be an interesting contrast, I think. Well, I think you we probably made me different decisions then. Mm -hmm. You will let me know if you think I should play it. Yeah. Where, I mean, Matt's already committed. Moment. What's it? Where you at at the moment? I think I think I mean, you may as well wait for episode me. two, right? That's like okay. three days away. Oh, and, right. then and it'll only take us an evening to play that, and then okay. I think we'll have a clear right. idea of like. I mean, I honestly think you'll probably get something out of it regardless. I mean, yeah, the story may turn out to be pap. We don't know that yet, but it was just nice pap. being back in like. Oh my god, there's a word I fucking love that I haven't heard in ages <laughs> yeah. that I'm now going to use for the rest of the month. It <laughs> might. Um, <laughs> You know, the story might be rubbish, but I've I've enjoyed just being back in like a kind of a telltale environment and making mm. decisions and yeah, short and sweet. I, I yeah, enjoyed that I, and I yeah, as, I'm as ready I said, for I know like nothing about the story. Yeah. So um I you think you'll probably, probably get something out of it anyway. Like for me, yeah, having adored the T V show and then it's just like it's ended, it's it's done. Um Yeah, so just have an excuse like literally the fact that it uses the, the theme music from the T V show, I was like, Fucking hell, yes. <laughs> fucking back. What what one of um, um uh one of these a year will do me one mm. of these story driven morally you know mm. focused uh choices you know all that mm. shit mm. fucking one a year yeah last year was uh it was last year was the the f as dust falls wasn't it yeah last year yeah, yeah. fucking great that game. Uh I, I, it's a, sh it's a shame that James is away because I really think this is this is doing the things that we want them to do with like, a structured roadmap. Like, yeah, we mm. could do like a, a spoiler cast every week. I mean, there's probably not a lot to discuss. It maybe be a short thing, I but saying, um, yeah, because the episode, well, that first episode is so short. I don't know if we would get much of a spoiler cast. Could, it could be like 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be like yeah, an hour long. Yeah, you know, true. could be short and sweet. But uh, I yeah. can't. I, you know, I, I, I kind of want to see you play it as Dust Falls, John. Just sit there and watch you play it because I'd Wait love to know. Oh, did you not get into it? No, I don't think it for about an hour, it. but I had people here and they didn't want to continue. But, oh, um, really? Yeah, it was alright. Played with friends. Yeah, you're not here. Yeah. No, I wasn't there. Must not be friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 you came the second day. Oh, you came the second day. Oh, well, right. well, we could have continued it, but we didn't. But they we didn't just watch UFC to. with a hangover. Um, <laughs> <What's wrong with laughs> it was not. It was great. I mean, that was that the weekend where we watched Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> Yeah, we <laughs> that movie and we went to go and watch the boxing, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, Good days. Ago. Yeah. Uh, fuck, yeah. Fucking hell. Long thing. Um, okay. Is that the expanse? Have you covered that? That, that is the expanse. Yeah. Because, Sean, mm. you've been playing a game that everyone's really been looking forward to hearing you talk about. Yeah. Um, go on. Baldur's Gate 3. Is what out. is this? I like <laughs> I know we spoke about it last week mm. and the fact that it'd been like in in um early access for ages or whatever. Mm. Mm. And then I I had an image in my head that it was a like an isometric, really mm. flat looking game. Mm. And then people were going, here's the character that I've made in Baldur's Gate, and it's a really detailed human head. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, what well, is cause... this game then? <laughs> because obviously, yeah, so Baldur's Gate one and two were like that, like top down. Well, you know, that's sort of isometric view. Um, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons adventures. But as I, as I said last week, yeah, they were like they were like the original Bioware RPGs, right? Um, right, right. But, but then, yeah, but then Baldur's Gate Two was twenty three years ago, something like that. Jesus. Um, yeah. So obviously, this one has moved on quite a bit. <laughs> um, 
yeah, obviously. it's. I mean, it's kind of snuck up for me because you know, as I said last week, because of blagged a, an early access copy years ago but then i was like I'm, i want to wait till it's finished um so it's been sat in my steam library all this time so did the person that um, sent you that code is just fuming yeah i gave you that code you yeah. blagged it off me and <laughs> now you just decided that you don't want to play it until it's out brilliant I mean, nice you know who i blagged it off you didn't give a shit um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so yeah and it's so it's yeah for me it's kind of crept up as well um because it, it's one of those where it's like yeah, the the franchise is a big deal, but it's been two decades since it was a big deal, and it's a different developer because now it's Larian Studios who did um, Divinity and Divinity Two, um, which I've never. I mean, I played a bit of Divinity Two, uh, Divinity Two, um, but not enough to really get into it. Um, and I know it's very well thought of, um, so you know, safe pair of hands for a, a new Baldur's Gate, I guess. Um, I've already put like 15 hours into this and it only came out last Thursday, Friday. Um, you, you lazy boy. I've, That's what yeah, you've been was... doing and you're playing in your bedroom. Uh, yeah, till 3 a.m. last night oh, playing this. That's well, it was, what was weird was I streamed the first couple of hours because I was going to stream on Thursday night anyway and I thought, do you know what? Rather than doing Far Cry, let's do like this new game. Everyone's excited about it. But also, it's only on PC for now, and we know our audience being mainly console-based are probably interested. Um, so I streamed like two and a half hours, and the the opening is not good, right? It's very, like, because th- this is one of those games where I just want to dive in and be like, you're off on a fucking adventure, here's this huge world, loads of interesting characters, taking quests, running around, killing stuff, whatever... And the intro is like, ah, you've been captured by this monster on this fucking spaceship and you've put a worm in your really? eye. And Spaceships. everything's all a bit gross and miserable and depressing. And and it just, I just wasn't getting anything from it at all. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so ended the stream and then the following day started playing more of it. And yeah, literally seconds after where I ended the stream, it was like, right, you are now in like a settlement um, there's some cool characters and there's stuff going on and there's like a bit of a, a you know there's like different factions in this settlement there's a bit of tension going on because of reasons and I was like right this this is what I wanted I'm in now this is this is fine um, so but yeah but 15 hours in it's kind of still way too early to talk about how I feel about the entire thing um, but yeah that opening was really weak but I'm now fully invested I'm having a really good time with it it's fucking what are you difficult. doing? Like in terms of gameplay, what are you doing? Mm. Is it got combat in it? Is it what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal? So it's 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 it is Dungeons and Dragons, right? It's a computerized version of like the fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons rule set. I know like a bit about Dungeons and Dragons, having done some tabletop stuff when I was a teenager, because it was really cool. Um, and I have to say that has really come in handy. Like the game has tutorials. But there's a lot they just don't bother to explain, um, like w- which is a bit weird. And on the one hand, yeah, it's cool that it's like unapologetically like this is for tabletop nerds. But it didn't have to be that way, right? You just some more tutorials. Tell people how brought... to play the game. Yeah, yeah, like would have brought a lot more people on board. Um, yeah. I'd be, I'll be interested to see if that changes when like the console, well, the PS5 version lands. Um, because I guess with a PC audience, you can more reliably assume they're going to be into that shit, but consoles, not so much. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's an unfair judgment. But um, yeah, in terms of like the mechanics and the interface and stuff, there's a lot. Like every character, and you like you start you know, gathering uh, characters to you know join your party, and there's, you know, typical RPG style, you've got your, your bar across the bottom with all your abilities in it. And there's fucking like literally you're level one characters and there's loads of shit in there and i'm just like i don't know i've got like fucking 10 different spells and then and i can hide i can jump i can pick up things to use as improvised weapons i can shove people like there's all these little interactions that have got their own button on this this hot bar right which initially you're just like what the fuck is any of this like it's really bewildering and it doesn't spell out for you like right here's just like a bunch of like little interactions you can have with the world here's your spells here's like other abilities you've got or whatever like and it is really bewildering at first um so that's another thing that could 
probably have eased you in with. And because like you're going into fights, like right, I've, I'm a rogue and I've got a wizard and a fucking cleric or whatever, and they've got all these different abilities. But at no point is it does the game go like right because of the people you've got in your party here are the abilities like it doesn't walk you through like here's their abilities and here's how they synergize with each other and interesting ways you could make sure they work together in a like you know effective way it is just like right off you go you fucking work it out which i guess we accept in other genres like elden ring obviously sold fucking tens of millions or whatever um but in this, I feel like some extra hand-holding wouldn't have gone amiss. Like, I'm playing it on the easiest difficulty. I went in on the, the medium one thinking, yeah, I play these games, this will be absolutely fine. And then within a few hours, it's like, this is just excruciating. Oh, really? Right. And yeah, it just ends up knocking it down. Um, it's oh, The character creation's amazing, I should say. Yeah, I've heard Again, a lot of people talk about how good that is. Yeah, like... Um, yeah, that's the majority but, of what I've seen. Just, like, really detailed... Yeah you know characters that they're creating yeah yeah which again if you're not into D D, there'll be loads of stuff that you're like well the fucking the difference is any i don't know what like there's all these different races what do they you know what's the difference does it, should i care like am i being boring by just picking a human fighter yes you are but that might you know if you're easing yourself in that might be the, the way to go um one thing i was weirdly taken aback with on the stream um is that there's a vitiligo slider um, for your character. Oh, which, wow. <laughs> like, Did you go I mean, right up but, to that? Well, this is it, right? This is what, what's <laughs> interesting about it is because I've had vitiligo since I was three. So I like it's been a decade since I had like patches well, on were it. You right? su- were you super tan yeah. two-year-old? Well, yeah. And then basically all just fucking <laughs> then, then, then went. You just woke so, up one morning. Glowing. And then basically, so, well, no, it, it was gradual, but by the time I was like five, I was just right. this color, right? So so it, it's not like me seeing that option wasn't like, oh my God, I can make a character that looks like me. Um, but it was just really nice to see that. Finally, some representation, sure. Yeah, like, mm. no, genuinely, like, I've never seen that in a game before. So that was that was really cool to see. Um, the characters yeah. weren't white enough in video games to make them whiter. <laughs> is that what you're saying, Sean? Well, this is it because like most people, most people's experience of vitiligo is they don't just go 100 percent pale like I do. They 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 just have patches of it, right? Ah, uh, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. it can be really noticeable and obviously quite anxiety-inducing for some people if you know. They, um, All right, don't not... make me feel bad about making jokes. But, like, it, wow, <laughs> David. <laughs> This on my comedy. Can't say anything these days, can you, Dave? Comedy. <laughs> you can't. You <laughs> genuinely can't. Um, so yeah, whereas, yeah. My experience of this, like, is I just fucking go up like a vampire whenever I step outside. But um, yeah, it's like that stuff is really impressive. The amount of attention to detail in even the smallest conversations with other characters is unbelievable. Like I read that they they did like The Witcher three thing right you know where they basically went right here's like a load of like pre-canned animations we will randomly assign them to every line of dialogue in the game and then we'll go through and we'll tweak it because it turns right. out in 75 percent of cases a randomly assigned animation will probably look all right with any yeah. given bit of dialogue but then occasionally they, they would switch them up or whatever so i heard they'd done that with this but i don't really see how that can be the case because it all seems bespoke like I had a conversation with like this thief kid, right? Who literally you have this one conversation with them and I don't think you, ever, you see them ever again. And I was again, sort of assuming, oh yeah, they've done this like randomly assigned animation thing. And then she ends the conversation by, by saying like, I'm keeping my eyes on you. And as she says it, she fucking points at her eyes and then points at me. And I'm like, that's not, I don't like, there's no way you would have made that animation other than doing it by hand for that line of dialogue. And then that's it, and it never gets used again. So, and it's just full of shit like that, where you're like, "Jesus, this is all." This yeah, but then like later on, like five minutes later, you meet a character and goes, "I've got two eyes." I've got both, eyes and so have you. Yeah, yeah. And like, and <laughs> and you go, "No, no, they've just repurposed that fucking animation <laughs> seven hundred times." Um, so there's tons of stuff like that. It's just every a, character in the game does that, actually. Yeah, yeah every character's like, it's like a secret handshake that you have to. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And by um, the way. <laughs> Yeah, we get it. Also, uh, I've got two, and also peace. <laughs> and you're like, oh god damn, it's that fucking animation again. Fuck this. Yeah, so, shit. And, and like everyone's fully voiced 
um and like all the voice acting appears to be good there's no there's none of the like bethesda you know oh well the main characters all right but beyond that you know watch out um like loads of really good voice acting um there's a there's a character you can play as right there's like there's some like pre-made characters you can choose from and one of them is called the dark urge which is basically designed as like a ultra hard mode because your character no matter how you play them will occasionally just murder someone in their sleep and have no memory of it and it will be people in your party people like central to the story and obviously everyone's got an opinion about the fact that you've just ripped someone apart with your bare hands in your sleep and you have to deal with that we'd have a whole bonus show on that they've all got an opinion haven't they jesus like it's yeah it's fucking unreal the amount of attention to detail in it like the amount of like i said 15 hours in the area of the map i've uncovered is pretty sure it's fuck all like but it's just not just like are you insanely intimidated at this point or what a little bit i like i had to sort of because like obviously it's called Baldur's gate 3 i haven't reached Baldur's gate yet right Baldur's gate being the city in this country you're in right it's like the main city um and obviously in the previous games it was like a big thing when you got there because suddenly everything opened up and there's like shitloads of stuff going on because you're not just going through shitty villages and stuff um and yeah it's like i'm like i don't even know when i'm gonna get there like i'm sure it'd be amazing when i do but i've had to like stop thinking about it i'm not going to Baldur's gate yet right because i've got loads of shit to do first um it's just wild how how dense it is um but as i say could probably do a lot more to ease people in and and, and i think it's a deliberate choice not to do that but mm-hmm. you could argue like i say like like with elden ring right the, what we're already seeing with Baldur's gate 3 is like guide writers and the communities and stuff are, are are all chipping in and suddenly this this knowledge base is sort of growing um outside of the game there are plenty of guides you can look up externally to the game um but it's just yeah i don't know it seems like a deliberate but strange choice but yeah, so yeah, I'm probably just going to talk about that for the next month. Um, okay. I mean, between like, I'd, I'd... Well, James has picked a <laughs> yes, great month, month to... to skip. Like, I wish it was on console still... now. Oh, I do feel like I'm, I'm missing out on this like launch hype. I'm like, oh, bloody hell! But it's I reckon it'll, it... honestly, I reckon it'll be all over again when the PS5 version. Oh, I'm sure it will. Yeah, I think it's going to be what Matt lives for. Having never played no. one of these games before, where everyone was talking about it. I was like, oh man, it does look awesome, but I wasn't I was never going to install it on my PC to play it. I was going to say, you can no play PC, Matt. It probably <laughs> won't work. It probably won't work. <laughs> All right. One's on a Steam Deck. Get a Steam Deck. Oh, That's okay. Baldur's Gate chat. I know people have been keen to hear that, Sean. I'm sure mm. they'll hear more in the near future. John Denton. Mm-hmm. I don't even like that man's picture, man. What have you got for us? <laughs> uh, right. Let's get into it. Remnant 2. This is the real deal. I'm excited to hear about this. This game mm. is serious. Mm. So, uh, did any of you guys play Remnant of the... Remnant from we played Remnant it together. Yeah, we played it together. I was just trying, I was trying to do a podcast thing. And then didn't you know, you fucking spiders come out? And I was like, nah. I'm I all don't right, know, I'm Dave. I was kind of... I can't worry was about whether you were scared wasn't of it? spiders four years ago. But no, 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 but wasn't remember. the first, I'm, no, not just four years ago, every day of my life. Is it, it is full of spiders that first one, right? Okay, that I, was... I, I don't know. I can't remember anyway. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, maybe it was. It was. Um, no, the reason we, well, it was full of like tree things. But we, yeah, we played a bunch of it. <laughs> third, third person, well. third person um, co-op shooter, bordering on looter shooter, um, procedurally generated levels. And uh, yeah, it came out like three years ago. It was on Game Pass and it was decent, mm. but um, it was one of those games. It just it felt a little bit rough around the edges. And then it borrows stuff from the Souls games, but it borrowed it in, a, in the kind of way where it just made things punitively difficult for no reason. So we got to like the first boss and um, it was just like miserably hard, I remember. So we just all kind of bailed. Anyway, I had no idea. I never thought about it again. And then suddenly uh, the second one appears didn't really think about it and started getting some seriously good reviews and so i was like looking at it and i was like wow that, that, that does look a hell of a lot better to be honest watching a little video review here and there just for a couple of minutes and then i wanted cd keys um 32.99 for some reason on cd keys on xbox seemingly like a full price game but for some reason 32.99 uh so i thought you know i'll take the plunge remnant 2 why not uh, i wanted something to play uh, managed to convince some of the people that we play with to do the same people are game sharing and stuff 
And honestly, um, immediately, it felt like a real step up because the quality of the gunplay, uh, like I say, third person looter shooter, um, you're moving around, you, you've got a roll, but it's, it's fairly simple to control. But the gunplay, you know how Destiny has this thing where just being in a level and shooting generic enemies just feels fucking good, right? And yeah. this game, I, honestly, I would put it up there. It is that good. Like the feedback that you get shit. from shooting um, the enemies is fantastic. And it's not the same range of guns as Destiny's. It, it's structured a bit different. We'll go into that in a second. But just yeah, the raw feedback from shooting the enemies. You're blasting like the bottom bottom halves of enemies off, and they're like crawling along the ground. And even if you're just shooting something at distance, it just feels fucking good to play. So straight away they nailed that. Which for any game like this has to be the most important thing in the first place. And then because this game, like the previous game, um, is basically is procedurally generated. So um, much like a, a Diablo or something, it, it, the idea is that you go into sort of dungeons or areas in the game and they look similar to how they would be in somebody else's, but they're laid out differently. But what's crazy about this game is that um, it's kind of difficult to explain. So you start with some story bullshit. We're not even going to go into that because it's a load of nonsense. And then uh, you get into like a place that's like the tower in Destiny's people to talk to. They're all boring, but they all, they all serve a purpose. Upgrade guy, mod girl, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then the campaign starts properly. But what it is, is there's three, well, I think there's three um, large biomes. And when you roll the campaign, when you start the campaign, you don't know which, which one you're going to get first. So me and a couple of the people that we're playing with started in the first area and we just assumed it was going to be the same for everybody, right? It, it kind of looks like the first game, loads of trees and gnarled up roots. The whole thing is about trees. I don't know. Um, and uh, you, you sort of get to the end of a little section in this, blast everything, and then uh, another level turns up and you get through. It is like, you know, you get to a door at the end of it, checkpoint, it's like a bonfire. Then, for some reason, one of the people that we were playing with couldn't join our game, but we could join theirs. So it was like a connection issue, whatever. Join their game in a completely different, it's almost like a completely different game. So where we had been in like this sort of weird forest, kind of relatively generic looking, their first area was like, it looks like something from, I don't know, Mass Effect or it's like, it's, like, it's in space. It's in this weird alien world. The enemies are completely different. The music, every, it's, it's like it's from a completely different game. And so we figured out, I think there's three or four of these biomes, plus extra ones that link them that you kind of hit when you complete one world. So not only do you not know when you're going into a campaign, which order this is going to appear in, but within those worlds, there's a bunch of like areas and you can go through your world in your campaign playing out completely different areas within that than anybody else. And even within those specific areas themselves, they're procedurally degenerated. So there's certain things that are always the same, but the layout's different. So what's mad is I think I played in four different people's games and had a completely different experience every single time. It's the stuff that I used to drink. It's like, can games actually get to this point? And this, this does it. Now, obviously, if you play it long enough, you're going to start seeing everything repeat. But even within one world, even within different levels appearing in different orders and then being different layouts there is at least in this this foresty tree type type world that i started in there's at least two completely different quest lines through it ending in completely different fully formed fully cut scene bosses with like huge tomb raider style puzzles that you play like an escape room together completely oh, now you've different it. fucking i'm gonna fight now <laughs> to, to, to other people's like and the more i play it uh, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I'm sitting there like, this is the best game I have played in ages. I think this is the best game I've played since Elden Ring. And um, I'm not putting it on that level, but it feels like gunfire games. I'm not even too, not even too sure where they're from, but they, they obviously, they've been around for a while. They did some of the Darksiders games. Um, they obviously did Remnant from the Ashes, which, which did well for them. I didn't really realize. And this is already going absolutely hell for leather in terms of sales. Massively outsold what uh, Gearbox, who published it, were expecting. And it feels like, they're not Japanese, but it feels like how From Software did Demon Souls, it got a cult audience, and then they did Dark Souls. And it, it, that became an, you know, an enormous success and changed everything, right? I'm not putting these games yeah. on the same level as that, and Remnant of the Ashes is nowhere near comparable in terms of quality to the original Demon Souls. But this feels like 
a small team that you know nobody really was talking about has just gone to a completely different level and answered so many of the issues that people have with this style of game like destiny for all it has going for it you are doing the same things over and over and over and over again this uh, games as a service is kind of relentless grind and the mechanics is strong enough to sustain it just about whereas this is um not only completely different every single time obviously you're gonna see things repeat but you can legitimately go in and play in somebody else's campaign and have a completely different experience there's a whole biome i've not seen yet i'm about 10 hours in but that's also jumping between different people's campaigns. Apparently, there's a, the whole world that's like set in like 1800s kind of London. I mean, apparently, it's fucking mad as well. But uh, the other amazing thing about it is, that from what, what I understand, it's like you can do 20 to 25 hours, get to the end, end of the campaign and just be done. Walk away, move on to what Starfield or whatever's coming out in a month. You don't have to be tied in for the rest of your fucking life to play this game. But if you do want to, if you do want to go back through again, if you do want to add loads of layers to your character. Um, if you do want to, to keep sort of looking for different mods and uh, the loot slightly different to other games, but um, that's there as well. You know, there, there's end game options, there's different difficulties which massively scale. But if you just want to do 20 hours, get through the campaign, which by difficulty wise is pitched much better. It's pitched like Destiny when Destiny is really good, like challenging, a boss might take four or five goes and you're figuring it out a little bit more because the bosses have puzzle elements some of it have like destiny style raid elements where you're figuring out stuff in the environment mad game mad game um even has like classes that you pick at the beginning and then you could unlock different classes and then blend the classes together so you're creating completely different builds there's uh, hidden classes that you could only get through like this the game's packed with secrets so there's all this like stuff online it's that there, there's a whole class that can only be found if you're a data miner and <laughs> dig into the code and find it in there. Fucking mad. Yeah, well, that story was great, wasn't it? Because they were they they knew the data miners would basically just yeah. know, do whatever data miners do to find out the secrets. So they like hid it so hardcore that it took weeks for someone to actually get into Sorry, like, like code. Yes, yeah, so when were... you said data miner, I thought that was like a character class or something. I didn't realize you meant no, real no, no, life. Legit, fucking... they, 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 <laughs> they built a whole class just Holy for people shit. to find like this. And yeah, obviously, the, 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 to, to unlock one class, it's like you get into the world and every now and again, there'll be a blood moon. And if there's a blood moon, then certain things are available in the world, like a resource, but it's never explained. It's, it's mm. all that kind of beautiful, beautiful stuff. And because like you're talking about Borders Gate 3, the community will, will mm. answer it. Mm. People understand that that is kind of a resource that they can lean on. Risky, but mm. um, I'm blown away. Hey, maybe when you get to the end game, there's some issues. I don't know. But I'm telling you, if you're a Destiny fan or somebody that's been looking for something along those lines for a while. Absolutely essential shit as far as I'm concerned. Like I say, I think it's the best game I've played this year so far. Um, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away by it. I can't believe how good it is. And I cannot believe it cost me 33 quid considering how expensive games are now. Mm. Fucking mm. mad. Mad game. Was really excited. And this is why I was actually really excited that I was on this week instead of last week because I got it on Thursday and I you know, obviously wouldn't have had the opportunity to talk about it. So hopefully... Um, I reckon all three of you will love it, mm. and yeah, um, the people it does listening as well. look and sound awesome. How it's many players is it? What, like, it's, what, it's three what? players, but like we were doing it, like it didn't matter who Jazz was on. Uh, yeah, it didn't matter who was on. We'd just go into their world, and I was happy to like not even progress my world, and happy to just right, go and right. see what's going on over there. But what mm. re it really blew me away when I realised there was this completely different quest line through one of these worlds, and. Like completely different enemies, completely different bosses. The bosses are fucking incredible. Like, mate, get that shit. Get it. It's fucking brilliant. I can't believe it. I'm so excited about this game. I've been I've been on the edge for a while, um, and I think that's pushed me over. Yeah, I mean, I know Sounds you great. play Destiny with your with your lot anyway. I, I'm sure, convinced that that you'll enjoy this like a lot, like uh, too much probably. Yeah, it's it's fucking <laughs> Wait, good. And no, did you no play micro Remnant from the ashes, Sean. You got sorry. Did you play Remnant from the Ashes? I didn't, but again, it was I heard good things, um, and yeah, like the yeah conversation around this one's just been absolutely insane. How much people are enjoying it? So mm. yeah, this yeah. is levels on that. Um, mm. But yeah, bang, and no microtransactions, nothing in there like mm. that. Just yeah, they've got DLC plan, but um, I don't know, man. Hey, maybe when I get to the end of it, it'll piss me off, but I doubt it. Fucking special, special shit, honestly. Wicked All game. All right, cool. Cool. 
Uh, what else you got for us? So, I mean, I had I didn't play this this week. I played this ages ago, but I just wanted to talk about it. God of War Ragnarok, or as I called it, God of War Gaps in Rock, which was my joke, which you used ages ago. But you did reference it. You did reference me. So. <laughs> and I, I, yeah, I credited you. That's you did. Fine. You did. You did credit me. Um, yeah, I finished this game a couple of months ago now, and do you know what? I had my misgivings about the first. Well, you know, the the God of War, as it was the the I don't what do you want to call it reboot. Remaster? I don't yeah. know what the fuck you want to Yeah, remake. reboot, yeah. yeah. So I had my misgivings about that and some issues with it. And I honestly think that Ragnarok just compounded everything that I didn't like about um, that first game. Completely lost the essence of everything that I loved about the old games. And I don't, I just, I was, I don't like it, mate. I just, the, the opposite of what I was talking about before. I do not like this game. I just think it was... It, it was poor. It had some great moments, had some spectacular moments, um, but there's a huge issue. I don't understand for the life of me why they felt it necessary to make these games all in one take. There's mm. very little in the history of cinema where having a movie all in one take has made it better. Now, in a film, we obviously have to choreograph it to the point where all the performances are spot on and like... But it just comes across as clunky because the way that you have to do it with the things moving across the camera, um, it then naturally condenses space. And in doing this, it is undoubtedly a technical marvel to be able to have made this work. It just makes all the environments and areas feel so small. And God of War, to me, is about scale. Mm. The old God of War is a tiny Kratos in these huge greek environments and here god of war ragnarok is just a game about moving through very pretty but very tight tunnels the whole time and occasionally it would open up the tiniest little bit and when it did i felt like i could breathe a little bit and yet the, it just condenses everything back down like combat's decent the one, the, the one take thing's interesting because i like i don't see the negative of it i don't i mean i don't particularly see the positive of it either i mean i think you know I the idea to it well, the idea I think is that you're 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 immersed for a long time, but I think yeah, I, I know I know what you're saying, John, but like I I think it's bollocks. Ragnarok <laughs> did it worse than the Ragnarok did do it worse than God of War because because, because there was there was a lot of times where you were standing in that that portal world between worlds, yeah, and what would have been a quick you know. Uh, like cut or whatever you were walking around that circle until yeah. the door showed up like the, that shit was fucking to crap. me to me it's just wankery for wankery's sake like mm. cinema has existed in its form for a hundred years with cuts and edits and there's no issues with immersion in cinema there are just zero right and cuts allow you to actually get further immersed because you don't have people just appearing from the side the whole time like you do in these games with cuts oh he's just a fucking walked off screen that was weird um you can't do passages of time properly and like you say there's some real clunky stuff in terms of how the game loads like moving between areas moving between that shit but the that. but the last the last um God of War game it mm. was just called God of War right it was just called God yeah. of War right I I thought that stuff worked quite well because I think the transitions between fighting and getting into the the transitions between fighting and and cutscenes and back to you know your normal puzzles and everything I th I thought that all worked quite well I didn't think it worked anywhere near as well in Ragnarok I can't put my finger on why. Um, but I don't really see the major negative of, of going down that route, to be honest with you. It's it like... because it made the game... I mean, this is a, a game in 2022, I guess it came out, that feels narrower than a fucking PS1 game to me. Like, you think about old PS2 a action game. Well, the, the God of War games are on PS2, the first two are. They feel bigger. The, the, the environments are bigger. It's more. There's more space. This is just fucking, like, little tunnels. Okay, so yeah, there was that. a bit of that. Yeah, this is me. I had a, I had a, had an issue with it in the, in the first one, and then massively um, in the second one. But the other thing is like, what did they do to my boy, man? What did they do to Kratos? <laughs> like, Greek mythology is beautiful because it's about archetypes, you know. I mean, and like so much of modern philosophy is based on those archetypes, and they just slot Kratos was just a. I think they could slot into that. It didn't quite have the depth of some of the, you know, the true classics. But he was just, uh, you know, a walking Greek tragedy. Um, mm. A guy that, uh, you know, had basically sold his soul to the original God of War 
and accidentally killed his family in order to achieve ultimate power and then was just driven by rage. It doesn't need any more character development than that, especially for a video game. And despite some of the awkward stuff in old games, like the sex mini games that always get brought up, even though they're like three seconds long, um, those games, in terms of storytelling... In terms like the of sex mini games that I play every day. <laughs> <laughs> But the world building in those games and the, and the characters and stuff, uh, fantastic. And then, like, ultimately, also, Norse mythology, wank compared to <laughs> Greek mythology, rubbish. Like, I mean, this is, <laughs> like, I'm saying, this is my own stock, so I'm slating my own stock, but <laughs> crap. Wimble Winter, like, the name is Ratatoska. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, the, the, like, okay, there's a worm and then the fucking, it's not as good. This is nowhere near as good as, like, compared to, like, Perseus just shits on it straight away, and that's just one story. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a bit disappointing, and then trying to get connected with all of that stuff. Tia, that go oh, it's just... Man, I don't know. What did they do to I, my I, boy, it, I wonder like, how much just, of it is, uh, like... If, why did he have to it, be a fucking boring dad? <laughs> he was just, like, pure rage and just tearing people's eyes out. It's fucking wicked. Uh, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Because I fucking love those games. Like, genuinely, I think Ragnarok's brilliant. Um, but then I don't have anything co to compare it to because I didn't play those first games. I didn't play... I didn't know Kratos before God of War, the reboot. Was awesome. I mean... <laughs> what do <what, what laughs> you mean? He's, well, he wasn't worried he was about... fucking nuts. He, he was the character they keep alluding to in the games. And like, oh, I don't want to go back to being that guy. War is terrible. I'm like, shut up, mate. That's all you do. You're <laughs> God of War. Go back. Would oh, you... I regret it. No, you don't. You tore that guy's eyes out. <laughs> you know, by the way, you're still doing that now all the time. So don't even pretend like you're beyond that now. Yeah, it's not like he's a pacifist all... at this yeah, point, is exactly, it? Exactly. <laughs> and now you're trying to pretend like you don't. Like, fuck off. It's like when like, you haven't seen a friend from Odin, college. Fuck Heimdall. Fuck all of these. I'm going to kill him all. And he would. And that's what you did. It's and like was... when, when you see a friend from high school and they're grown up now and they're, they're working in a bank or whatever. And you're going, well, no, I saw you. I saw you shitting in a, <laughs> in a, in a cup and leaving it on someone's desk. I remember that. Don't Weird try and miss it. pretend. <laughs> that you're... <laughs> yeah, and I miss that guy. <laughs> I miss that guy. If he it's was still fun. doing that, though, even at his job, but pretending he didn't. That's the new Kratos. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. got to evolve. No, they don't. Why? Because <laughs> old Kratos better, new Kratos fucking boring bastard. <laughs> and he, so shit, they made him so shit that they made his extremely irritating kid way more fun to play with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, he's the main yeah, character, cool isn't he? Basically, he is. the son. What a load he of He was, yeah. Uh... Because oh, right, that, right. I mean, have, having, I mean, I played a bit of, of 2018, and that's it. But I'll, does it basically like is Atreus the new main character now? Is that do you think that's where it's going? Um, he's a main no. character in this, I think. Okay. No, uh, no, no. I don't even say he's the main character in this. I it, think, it, but all the interesting story stuff is about him. And yeah, yeah, from you, him yeah. I totally, him. totally, totally agree. But I don't think he's the main character, and I think the way that it's left it, I think it would be a mistake to say here's God of War three. You're now a Trias. Like it, mm. that's not what it does at all. Um, and I think it makes that clear that it's not going in that direction. Confusing okay. as well, isn't it? Because it's like Freya, and then what's her brother called? Freya. Freya. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. that got me a couple of times. Yeah, I mean, bloody hell. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to rant about that because I haven't had anybody to talk to about it. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually really care. <laughs> You, you didn't want to just bust into that in the middle of a reaction video. Well, no, <laughs> just go think... right, okay, forget this. Let's... There's two, maybe three videos, if you find them, where I have just done that in the middle of an album. Just, <laughs> just kept talking about God of War. Um, I need another, uh, I need a wee. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. You, oh, you, you edited this week, last time. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> just a check. God. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely enjoyed it, but it didn't feel like as as new or exi as exciting as the previous one. And uh, but yeah. I didn't also play didn't, didn't play the originals either. I, I just can't see going back. It just had a special place in my heart. Mm. Those games. So did you finish it, or are you not gonna bother? Yeah, I finished it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it did, I, I finished it like that and Elden Ring in the same weekend when Nat took the kids away. It's about oh. three months ago now. Nice. But I did, I'd have a podcast about games, so that was the first opportunity I had to talk about it. <laughs> oh, it's a good job that game came out, though, Remnant 2, because otherwise I wouldn't have really had much to talk about. <laughs> just play fucking pro clubs. 
Yeah, it's the Remnant good. thing that I heard, not, not just all the stuff you mentioned, but also, like, even the same mission is uh, different for different people. Like, I think they talked about yeah. on the Next Lander, saying that they were both doing the same mission, same biome, and they got different armor. There was a different, same person asking to do the same thing, but it changed in the actual mission and what they had to do. Oh, it's oh, really? Bonkers, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's fucking wild. The game's mm. wild. So um, it, it does sound yeah. good. I missed well, that. I, I, there's stuff I forgot to talk about it as well. For, but yeah, get yeah, this won't be in the pod. But but um, uh, I think I'm getting Remnant from the Ashes mixed up with something else because there was a game that I played with Zeno and uh, Chet where you were a cowboy. It was like a cowboy world, and then you're doing co co op shooting, and then there was like a boss at the end, and one of the bosses was a fucking spider that moved at 100 miles an hour, and it fucking Fuck me up. I mean, for like it might a month. The only boss that I remember from that was a tree. Yeah, you sort of. It was a cowboy game, but I'm sure. I think it was first person. Oh, and then I, I remember, the... like. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, maybe it'll come back to me. Can't, but I gonna, can't wait for it to turn out this was a dream you had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 it wasn't possible. Evil West, no. That was quite no. recent, wasn't it? That was only. No, no, no. no. We're months. talking, yeah, a good four or five years ago, I think. Uh, right, okay, uh, right, let's pick it back up. Okay, is that is this <laughs> now that you've got that off your chest, John? <laughs> is that is that it for the games that you got for us this week? Yeah, and you know, as you know, pro clubs is just the the main game these days. But honestly, it's Remnant scary 2, that we played it this consistently this it, year. It is, but it, you know, when it's magic, it is magic. Um, it, you know, it's a fucking wonderful game, and it's an awful game at the same time. But I can't wait for the new one. I'm a sucker. Can you? But they're also changing it, aren't they? Completely all the pro clubs things. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm not happy about this. I'm gonna wait. I'm a, I'm on a wait and see type situation. Right. I'm gonna wait and see because it could be. There's the idea of like you play in a season and then there's playoffs and you can win trophies and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. The, yeah. There's no leagues. Yeah. Ultimately, if we win more games and we win good. the games, good. When we lose the games, bad. And that will it always the be worst. the case. Yeah. And it hopefully, the it won't be worst. completely broken. Like the previous years were. what what i like and you probably don't know about this sean but there's mm. um uh there's increase like there's hilarious commentary names so you can pick a name for your player and there are god there must be thousands of names that the commentators have recorded mm. right because it's not just normal names that that are football players or whatever uh, in the real world, there's also they've just recorded like standard surnames that you mm -hmm. get. So you can get Turner, you can get Murray. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you could get Denton, right? No, Denton's not on there. Really? Oh, no. Fuming. But but then there are also ones that you just think you knew this was a joke. Like there's one that that goes yeah, every turn, every now and then you play a team and they've got a character where there's, the commentator goes, "Your murder." Like that, and you're going. <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah, you're mad. What, doing. what are the other big ones like that? I'm trying to remember. Fanny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fanny, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's the way he says it. He goes, <laughs> "Fanny." Yeah. Like okay. <laughs> Every time he gets the ball, fuck it. And I just imagine them sitting there going, "I'm a, di I'm a dick. I'm a dick. I'm, I'm a, a dick, dick." Is yeah. another one, right? And you, you just it, these, the surely these are just. Names we're not familiar with, and just very unfortunate. Well, this when... is what I'm worried about. <laughs> what the wondering, like, do they sit there and go, "Hold on, you want me to say my butt smells?" What, 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 <laughs> what football player is called my butt smells? Where is that a surname? Just say it. It fucking makes them laugh, and we just we've got a chart here that notes that if they hear my butt names, smells, they pay right? more. They're, they're probably apt. just unlucky the way they sound to an English speaker. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I know, but my butt but look, no, I'm a dick. Come on, come on, great Sean. player, great player, David. You, you and <laughs> that could very time. easily be a real name, Brian. I'm a dick. Is that what you think? Great player in Turkish that? Super League, really good, really <laughs> up and coming. Um, right, I have been playing a new game. Um, I've been ifing and butting about playing it for ages. Disney Illusion Island which is a side-scrolling Metroidvania that uh, that involves all your favourite Disney characters. Um, and I went into it thinking, I'm going to play this with the boys, and I just haven't played it with the boys. <laughs> so this is a single... single. Part. When I say the boys, I mean my children, not <laughs> not the lads. <laughs> I didn't just crack this out on a pub and <laughs> put, my, put my Switch on the table and say, grab a Joy-Con, boys. And... Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's fucking great. I really love oh, it. Oh, good. Because I've, yeah. I've heard, I mean, reviews have been all over the shop for them. They've been, yeah, real. I think the, mm. the, the, I've seen a lot of lackluster reviews and stuff. And mm. I think there's a little bit of weird snobbery around it. Like the reviews mm. that I read recently after playing it was like, oh, it spells out, you know, you go to your map and you look at the map and it's like, well, you need this ability to go here. And it's got like a little symbol of the ability you mm. need. Like, if you've got ground pound, you can use ground pound here to get to the next bit. And I'm going, well, yeah, but every Metroidvania, and I am inexperienced in Metroidvania games. I've played four or five of them. But everyone I've played, you go to the menu and it's just like, it's a green blob. Like, all right, it doesn't necessarily say you need the green laser to get through mm. this bit, but it's still a green blob. And you go, well, I'll just use my green laser. I'll get down there. Like, mm. it's. It's just taking it to that next level of just mm. saying, ah, nah, 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 you need this, you know, well, yeah, you like can't go here. With Jedi Survivor and... Yeah. What was the other one? What was it? I can't, I can't remember what it was called. What was the first one called? Uh, Jedi um, Fallen Order. Order. Fallen Order, thank you. Where yeah. it was just, yeah, it was just green or red. If it's green, you've got the ability. If it's red, you haven't. But Which, then it was, fine, it was, it was, it's the same like, for Metroid Prime that I played at the start of this year or the start of last year. Yeah. But it was and just like, like yeah, go on. Some, some Metroidvanias are really good at sort of disguising that stuff. But I mean, even some of like, like Symphony of the Night, right? Which is like one of the, the classics. You'll play that and you'll be like, right, well, there's like a, a gap that I can't fit through. So there's going to be like a sliding ability or something in a bit. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's the same thing. It's not as explicit. But yeah, it's just that like, right, well, there's a thing I clearly can't do. I'm going to have to come back to. Cheers. Like, that's always been like a, like, if that stuff irritates you, then it has irritated you with even some of the best ones in the genre. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. So, and then this game, yeah. but this game then just goes, there's a big symbol that comes up on screen mm -hmm. and says, yeah, you can't do this shit yet. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I'm kind of like, yeah, no, cheers for that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have to sit there fucking walking about. The one thing, look... You know, James said to me, this really feels like a Metroidvania game for people that haven't played Metroidvania games. And, uh, you know, he's kind of right, but I think he was saying that in a negative context. And actually, coming to it as someone who's not played many of them, and, and the ones that he has played has got frustrated mm. with... I, I kind of appreciate the effort that's gone into not only pointing the player in the right direction but also being completely open and honest about where you need to be mm. like uh, yeah don't there is exploration there is there's sections in this game where you can you know you find a, like an illusion wall that you walk into and it disappears and you find a, 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 a you know a collectible or whatever um there are bits that you can go off and do and you, there's whole little jumping puzzle bits that that you do to get a bit of memorabilia which is just a little tick in a fucking menu and you're whatever but so there is exploration involved but it's very clear that hey we want you to go here now and you need this um this ability to get here like it's very open and honest about it and i fucking appreciate that um mm. it's like as you might uh expect from a disney game the fucking animation in it is fantastic right it looks beautiful it really does and i'm playing on switch i think it runs at 60 frames it certainly feels it runs at 60 frames and it looks absolutely stunning um it's like the sort of new age mickey mini sort of character design slightly you know sort of not the classic looking uh characters or whatever mm. it's got my boy donald in it and <laughs> i tell you what that that motherfucker gets mugged off and he gets angry about it. his little head turns red and he loses his shit and i'm like yeah all right it took me a long time to realize that actually you can change characters because you can't change characters on the on the fly so i, I spent right. the majority of the time playing as mickey and then um i saw a review i was reading reviews and they were like yeah you could choose whoever you want and it wasn't until you have to quit out and then go back in and say actually i want to be yeah. my boy don because uh, I wanted to see him just going fucking nuts at everyone and losing his <laughs> shit. And he does get mugged off. There are moments where you get abilities like power-ups and it doesn't just say you've got a double jump now. It mm. says, right, Mickey, you've got like a, 
you've got a surfboard and then you can jump up on the surfboard and then jump again and the, a mini here's what you've got you got a balloon you can just pop that underneath you and jump again and it's like donald you got a fucking rocket and he's going but doesn't it ex- explode like that don't worry about that you know <laughs> and then he's like rah, 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 and he goes like his fucking hat goes up about an inch above his head his head goes red and he starts doing that and you're like yeah I fucking feel your pain, man. Um, I've got time for Don. The The music is as Disney as you would expect. It sounds like you're fucking queuing up for one of their rides. You know, it's like that sort of like carousel. It sounds like an old man has gone into a studio and said, with a whole fucking orchestra, and said, can you play this? and then they play it and they record it and put it in the game so all that shit is as disney as it gets um and i i you know there's no combat in it which is fucking weird because there's enemies no you don't jump on anyone's head it's just about avoiding it and it's and and they've the the most important thing is they've got the movement right like it at first you think oh this feels a bit maybe over animated and a bit floaty but then the more abilities you are unlocked, it, 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 it really changes the way the game feels. And um, once you get your first, once you get the double jump, man, it, it, it's like, holy shit, this actually feels really nice to just play. Mm-hmm. There's no blocks. There's no frustration. Um, I can see why fans of this, the genre will look at this and go, this is fucking bland as shit and I'm bored <laughs> I could see why they, they would get to that conclusion but as someone that likes to dip in and out of this stuff it just feels fucking great to play mm-hmm. um, I've got no idea how it will work in co-op we've not tried it yet and for the stuff that I've played at the moment I'm like the co-op, co-op would seem like it just fucking frustrate me because the free the movement of just moving from where you want to go where you are and where you want to go you know whether that be towards the goal or to go exploring or whatever it just feels like I'd be hampered by having my sons going well, well, well. you know or I, I don't know what it does if it does that thing where it fucking holds up the screen if you're either side right, of it yeah, just yeah. going yeah or it puts one of them in a bubble or whatever, then none of those are good solutions. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why this needs to be a co-op game, Um, but then I can't really comment on it because I've not played it. But uh, I'd say if you're, if you fancy like just an easy ride and just an enjoyable little bit, but bit of platform stuff, then definitely check it out. It does a thing where it goes, how hard do you want it? And all that does is decrease the amount of like life you've got. Okay. So, you know, if you really want a challenge, you can knock it down to if I get touched once, I'm dead. But then the but checkpoint... Sounds like are... it's not really about that. Like, nah, not really. Yeah. It's about listening to that fucking Disney music and watching Donnie get nuts. Like, uh, uh, you know, I've I've got time for it. I've got time for it. And it mm-hmm. it's one of those... And it runs really solidly. You know, it, it looks... Really... The fact that I can, I can just sit back and play this on the Switch for a little bit is... um Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So it's recommended, but if you're a massive hardcore fan of Metroidvanias, then I'd say you'd probably get too pissed off with how simple it is. But yeah. Cool. I'm not finished it yet. I think I'm about halfway through. Mm-hmm. I will play it till the end. And I is think. it uh, do you, like you'll reach credits and then put it away, or is, are you going to 100% know, man. it? There's a lot of fucking collectibles in this, and I'm kind of like, I want to fucking find them all. Mm-hmm. So maybe I will do that. Yeah. I've got a feeling it's going to get its claws into me in that regard. So possibly. Possibly. Uh, that's what we've been playing this week. Um, let's get a couple of questions in, shall we? If you want to send us a question, go to tcgs. Yeah, dot co. Fucking hell, I've got our own website. tcgs.co co. forward slash. Dear TCGS, Charlie Two Spoons says, Dear Dave, Matt, Sean, <laughs> not James and John Denton, brackets 446k YouTube subscribers at the time of writing. Um, further to the, Matt, what are you doing with the doc? He's like selecting the I was just like clicking it. it. <laughs> I can't fucking read it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> further to the discussion last week about the rewind functions in Pikmin 4 and Viewfinder. I'm of the opinion that every single player game should have an inbuilt rewind function as the ultimate quality of life and accessibility feature. I don't mean a mechanic that's necessary to complete the game, like in Braid or Life is Strange, but more like an optional shit, I cocked that up, let's try again button. What do you think? Would be would being able to rewind have helped any of you finish Elden Ring? Or from Charlie? Yeah, it would have 
help you finish Elden Ring, but I think it would have taken out a lot of the tension. Yeah. I think it's what, and like, and does it, just giving everyone a rewind button then free up developers to make loads of like gameplay design sins that you wouldn't get away with now. You know, like, like everyone brings up the example of Rick Dangerous. You ever played Rick Dangerous as a kid? It was a no. rubbish 2D platformer that was just full of like, just rocks would fall on you. And oh, no yeah, way to see of course. It coming, yeah. Right? Oh, he was gotta... the boy. I like Rick Dangerous. <laughs> what a character. I mean, it's a great name for a character, but. It is um... a great name for a character. I remember he had the. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, my God. Rick Dangerous too. He went to space. What the fuck? <laughs> of course he did. How Where did I not you know that? Too? <laughs> How did I not know he went to fucking space, that motherfucker? So, like, okay. yeah, so if if every... And I'm not. this isn't being like, oh, game developers are lazy or whatever, but just if you're building a game and you know everyone's got a rewind function, you are presumably less likely to pick up on examples where, like, oh, well, actually, there's something we've not really telegraphed properly here to the player, and maybe that's not as satisfying as, you know. Um, so I think that would that's a problem, right, if, if this was to become, like, standard. Um... I mean, in terms of, like, Souls stuff, because I know, like, especially Dark Souls 1, like, the whole point was the repetition and the slowly going insane, right? Because that was yeah. baked into the, the, the story and everything. Um, it, yeah, and like you say, Dave, it, it would have made me more likely to finish Elden Ring, but it, I possibly would have lost something on the way. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough, yeah it definitely it? would have affected it. Mm. Yeah, I don't think every game needs a rewind mechanic. Mm. That would um, destroy so many games. So much tension, baby. Just lost. Yeah. Uh, but it is getting so much more common now. So maybe, you know, I mean, not every game, but it's a lot of games you probably don't even expect to have it have these things yeah. now. So, yeah. yeah, it's kind of mad. I don't really like using them in games like Forza. I mean, like, it's there, but I just feel like kind of ruins it, really. It's but funny because uh, I, I use it in something like Forza, but then, like, if I'm playing online, then suddenly realize I can't do it. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like I don't, yeah. I don't sit there think. Well, fucking hell, I still want to be able to rewatch. Like I don't, I don't know. Don't feel entitled to it. No. Um, I tell you what, I would have fucking loved it in Goldeneye for those Natalia levels, mm. where you're just sitting there and you're just like, oh my god, I've got to do all that shit again just to get, a, just to get shot again, just I rewinding like, that shit. The answer to the question is like, when I play stuff on emulators, I don't really use save states, so. I think that means I wouldn't want a rewind function and everything. Like I still prefer to use like play the game as it was designed. Obviously, if I like reach a certain bit and I need to save and I need to go and do something else, I'll use a save state then, but I won't constantly do it and right. just extract all the tension out of it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that is also the so, nerdiest yeah. thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> yeah, when I'm using emulators, I don't actually use save states. <laughs> I don't it's believe we, in it. But... Uh, we call it hardcore mode in, in it. the uh, emulation community. In the, in the uh, scene. <laughs> in the community. <laughs> I mean, it's also one of the factors is also I don't always know. It depends on which emulator is running on my fucking uh, Retroid Pocket too. I don't always know what the shortcuts are for. Load. Like I'm worried. That's I'm the it's definitely this button and this button, but is this one load or save? I don't want to load one from three <laughs> yeah. hours ago. It's a fucking minefield, isn't it? Oh it no, I've deleted my save. Brilliant, nice one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, yeah, I've deleted the emulator. Why, why is that even an option on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bad. Um, Brett says, Hey guys, as dads yourselves, I'm finding it hard between my work and home life to have any sort of social life or making new friends. I haven't had much time to play games as of late either due to having a baby, etc. Since having kids of my own, it seems I don't see anyone or do anything social anymore. I'm either working at home or I'd be lying if I didn't say it's starting to affect me mentally. Um, just needing a laugh and an adult conversation sometimes is what I feel I'm missing. Thankfully, you guys sort of fill that void with the pod, which helps. But I was just wondering if any of you guys have ever had any similar experiences uh, and what did you do to make new friends, etc. Love you guys talking about the parenting stuff too, reminding me I'm not alone with parenting issues and thoughts, etc. Sorry for the massive message and thanks for being natural as always, Brett. We talk about this a lot, don't we, John? It's very true. I mm. mean, like... I mean, yeah, you have kids, um, your social life ends effectively. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, meeting, either spending time with people that you're already friends with or, um, mm. yeah, meeting new friends particularly, um, unless you change your job or something like that. It's very mm. difficult. But um, I would like joining, well, I mean, joining a sports team is the, is the broader way of saying it. But, like, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm going to always direct somebody into jiu-jitsu just because 
it, it's everything that you're looking for built in plus physical exercise and you know skill and, and, and all the other type of stuff that, that can be very rewarding but um yeah i mean a lot of the main reason that i love it so much is that you do have that interaction with, with a bunch of people camaraderie um feeling of being in some sort of team slash uh cult you know mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing that you want <laughs> but um yeah i read there uh, another gym recently opened uh close to much closer to where i live so i've been jumping between the two met a bunch of new lads uh, and it's nice because they're people from all sorts of different walks of life you know that, uh, that do all sorts of different things people that you would never meet normally but um you, you share a lot of common interests but you all share this common interest in this thing you're all trying to get better at this specific thing and listening to, I listened to the back page pod about, um, with the woman who used to edit Edge, Margaret, mm -hmm. and then she talked about the bath meetups. And I know that you used to go to those, right, Dave? Yeah, like, God, yeah, yeah. The day. And I was like, oh, and when I used to work at Imagine uh, um, and Highbury before that, it was amazing to be in the environment where there were so many people that was as into the thing that I was into. Um, and then you go and meet like dads on the school run and stuff. And like, you can, you know, depending on my mood, I can be friendly or not, but. Like I haven't connected with anybody from that, and right. my kids are twelve and eight. But this mm. this space, as much as I might not have anything else in common with somebody that I meet in jujitsu, we've got that. Like there's something that you know, there's a there, there's something there straight away. So I would always recommend that to anybody. It's not for everyone. Um, you know, if you're not interested in grappling and getting people's sweat on your face and stuff, <laughs> but um, I would say it's for it's for anyone, but not for everyone, if that makes sense. So you know, it's people from you know, fucking rugby backgrounds and people who, uh, uh, you know, architects as a, as an example, an on topic example, you know, all sorts of people from, from every world uh, are in there. But, um, but yeah, I it's think difficult. it's also important to remember that, like, I mean, for me, I, I totally went through this. Like I, I would say to Joe, like, I, I've got no fucking friends that, that are local. Like I, I just didn't have friends that were local and it, it, it was really fucking get into me um because you know i love chatting to my mates but it's not the same as like sitting down and you know going to the pub and seeing face to face or going around their house or whatever and and, and catching up um and it, it it did get to me especially through lockdown and all that sort of stuff and i think you know you're not alone brett you're absolutely not alone i think it's harder to turn around and commit to a club or a social group um in the early days of having a kid i mean mm. definitely I, I mean it's taken me charlie to get to nearly five years of age to to sign up to this this um little league stuff and then meeting people through that and you know i've started playing seven aside again um which has been fucking great for me just getting out there and 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 get more active and and, and meeting people and talking to people and uh all that sort of stuff which is great um, but I think in those early days of having a kid, your 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 time is so built, you, you, your time is is limited anyway. But then also there's that guilt of actually saying no, I'm going out tonight, and you're going to have to deal with all that shit uh, on your own to your your partner or whatever. It's, it mm. it is tough. Um, all I'll say is that it will get easier. You will find yourself with a little bit more time, and the moment you get to do that, then definitely, as John says, look for something you enjoy doing because there's bound to be some sort of social group based around it whether it be sport or tabletop gaming or video gaming or whatever um look around and and sort of put yourself out there it's weird isn't it to say that because it sounds mm. like we're all adults and we shouldn't be thinking like that but i guarantee everyone is mm. anyone that's not is fucking probably lying <laughs> it's weird <laughs> as well because i feel like dads are I don't know, it's not that they're they're worse at this sort of thing than than mums. Like not generalizing, but like they are though, aren't they? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like the like Isaac's class at school has a mum's WhatsApp group. I was about to but, mention but this. Not yeah, the yeah, dad's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There is not yeah. a dad's know, like, WhatsApp group. No. Yeah, and because like when we had Isaac, it was still like you know my employer wasn't doing like equal you know parental leave or whatever, or you know enhanced parental leave for for dads. Um, so new was off for nine months she went to loads of groups met loads of mums i don't know any dads like in my town like at all like my, ne no, my nearest, nearest mate and dad mate is chris and he's like 50 minutes away um so it's yeah like the, those and it, and it's funny because like 
I probably wouldn't want to be mates with most of the dads, but there's there's one, and I mean he'll never see this. It'd be fucking weird if he ever does. But I just but you know, fall in love. One where I'm like, I reckon we could be mates because he just right. like he always wears. He just looks Cassio like Cassio watch. Right? No, 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 Cassio watch. He just looks like a okay. punk, except he's like 45 or something, right? But he's just right. wearing like fucking massive shorts. And like shirts with flames on them and shit. I'm just like, he doesn't give a fuck, and I love it. Like he looks, he just seems great. And like his kids are like both well in, like he's got two, they've got two kids, and they're both well into like skating and, and cycling and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, he's he. If I had to pick one, to try and be yeah, next, I've be been him, in right? exactly that situation, Sean. And Joe fucking cracks up when I do that yeah. because he's just like. You want him to be a friend, don't you? Yeah, I'm like, fantasizing yeah. about a friendship. With him. <laughs> Skipping in fields. You, I, I've just got an image of you turning up at the school gates, next, you know, walking up to him, and then just opening a box with a Casio watch in it, and just going, <laughs> "Do you want this? I bought this for you." And then they, and then him crying. <laughs> Did you follow in the chats? Point out there is a bluey episode about this. Um, oh, there is a bluey episode about right, the dad yeah. in, the, in the playground. Yeah, 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 it's difficult. I mean, I, 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 when I drop Edward off at school, you know, the, all the mums talk to each other, and then the, all the dads are in different areas of the playground, and it's mm. like, okay, well, no one's talking, <laughs> and yeah, there is no WhatsApp group. But like, you know, mm. all my friends are just I've made through work. Um, mm. But when, but like, but you and I on, we haven't got our like couple friends uh, at all. So mm. it's like, how do you also? do that like the working is easy because yeah. you work together you hang out you have a lot of drinks after work and do and so that's where all my friend group is from my various jobs i've had up here but mm. how do you just like make other kind of <laughs> couple friends yeah, that's well, what yeah, we didn't get so we we're like tried we... that. like nat tried that a bunch of times with me and i was just like nah i'm not <laughs> nah, you, think, not him. you think i like this guy but no i'm not interested I'm... yeah did, did, did you do the like oh no you're liking me plays games no, it's not and even it's anything as interesting as that. It's just like, <laughs> oh, you know, you like him, he's funny. And I was like, this guy's not funny. He's <laughs> this guy sucks. I thought we had a nice night, John. <laughs> yeah. To be honest with you, it's a bit, it's a bit fucking rude yeah. that you bring it up on the show. But, but yeah, it is hard. I, when I when I moved to Leeds, um, I didn't have anyone up here. And I was like, how do I make friends? And I was obviously, you know, much younger then. But it's just how, how do adults make friends? It's only really through work or mm. friends of friends, really. It's, it's difficult. It's funny, yeah, like, you know, I was saying the other week about, yeah, like, my workplace wanting people to bring their, their full self to work, and I'm like, no, you would all hate that. Like, I'm <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. None of you would <laughs> appreciate me, like, being, like, this person I am on the show, because it's just not that sort of environment. They're not right. that sort of people, you know? I mean, they're, they're all fine. Like, they're all lovely, mm. but they're just not. That's such yeah. a weird thing that they want you to do, because, yeah, yeah it's like, well, one, I swear all the time. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you want this? Yeah. yeah, really strange. But yeah, Brett, you are not alone. No, uh, absolutely no way. This. And it will get better. I think you'll get to yeah. a point where you're just yeah. like, I don't you know what, I've got a little bit more time now and also, fuck this, I'm sick of being so you just scared go, of there, it all. There, there, there comes a point where you just got to go, now go, I'm going, I've got to go out, I've got to go and do something. I'm and, fucking and well optimistic right. about yeah. my 40s. Am I wrong to be that? Like, I'm sitting there mean. going... They're all right, mate. They're all right so far. 20s was anxiety. Yeah, I'm 30s was I've got no money. Mm -hmm. And 40s, I'm not kind of like, oh man, could I? I could. 40s is mean, a great combination, no actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of anxiety and no yeah, money. No yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I, know, no, I mean, I'm like, I'm 41 next month, and kids are 8 and 12 now. And mm -hmm. Nat went away this weekend, and they just played Roblox together upstairs. And I just played Remnant 2. And like, we, we connected for some takeaway. And then when I took boys again. <laughs> Ja was yeah, James was saying, wasn't he, that like yeah. eight to thirteen was the sweet spot for him. Mm. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll get difficult again when he starts yeah. going out and stuff. But <laughs> um, yeah, compared to like having to fucking chase a toddler around and all that mm. sort of shit. Yeah, the like, toddler shit is worse. Yeah, it's fucking it's horrendous. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's white, right, mate. It's all right. All oh, right. Last one, Darren Gargett. It says, Diablo 4 recently had a patch to help improve the game, but accidentally sucked the fun out of the experience. If you were planning on doing something to improve yourself, what potential negatives might arise from such an occasion? Personally, for me, I'm planning on patching slash fixing my spotty ass cheeks, but I might accidentally ruin the bullseye, and that bit is just fine. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I don't okay. even know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but I don't... How do you ruin whatever. your bullseye? Yeah, what... Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, you might, it might it go under a knife and they might cut it out. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to get confused. Yeah. It happens all the time. Up. 
Okay. It's a really upsetting email. <laughs> yeah, like what if you um, it, what if you got went and got your hair done, Matt? Your your like yeah. you know. There's no pitfalls out there. That was. Just but they me. really fucked it up. And it was like really shit hair. It was yeah, it like is really worse than just having a shaved head. Yeah. Yeah. You but what would be it, worse than it? Because you could still shave it anyway. Oh, yeah, you right. could just shave it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but they might fuck it up. So even like as sh- as it's shaved, it might look like a mess. You know, it, it, that's that's possible. That, that's the risk of going to Turkey and getting your hair done for yeah. a weekend. Get it done here now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but will it be as cheap? It's not quite as cheap, no. But it's um, yeah, it's becoming much more affordable. Yeah, well, so, but yeah, we'll see. You get like a nice weekend in Turkey. So. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we we can weekend break on our own Turkey plus come out of hair. Yeah, <laughs> that um, is win win. To be fair, I mean, I get suppose I could always there. patch out the old uh, ADHD. If you know, on the on the up, I'd be able to perform basic tasks, mm-hmm. but then it'd also be even less funny. So. Good point, yeah. You know, yeah, I don't think that's possible, is it, it, Sean? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's fucking um, possible, son. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I could patch out uh, how much of a prick I am, but will we have as many what, subscribers? What, what, there's nothing left that's after that, is there? Yeah, what is left? <laughs> <laughs> Just an empty husk. <laughs> oh, no, what's got happened to Dave? Left. Well, he used to be a prick and he's not anymore but now yeah, that got taken room. out and he's there. just a bag of bones now yeah he doesn't speak <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah and that's my answer cool and i'm sticking to it we'll be done uh mine is lasik and you might be blind all right okay all right uh, yeah that's, that's that's it <laughs> good way to end the show i think isn't it match we go to the socials Yes, um, Sean, are you going to carry um, on with um, Far Cry or oh. are you going to... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, unless something <laughs> massive comes out on Thursday, uh, yeah, and no, I'm going to go back to Far Cry 2, yeah. All right. Nice, well, that's Far Cry 2, Sean, stream that live on twitch.tv slash tcgsco or just search for tcgs on the Twitch app. No Farley stream, obviously, because he's away. Um, and we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash tcgs for live talk servers or whatever the video show is doing during that month exclusive monthly bonus podcasts and plenty more besides if you want to support what we're doing over here and the website is tcgs.co for links to our amazing store discord podcast socials you name it it's all on there don't sound like you believe it anymore matt don't sound like you believe it you well i've had a lot of that, i've had a lot of you know the social bit i'm trying to get over as quick as i can nowadays like you've you've taken the fun out of it it's like <laughs> what's, what's all right it's my point? fault is it yeah basically yeah okay well, maybe if you I put the effort that. in, it'll be. Uh, John, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to plug anything? I guess is that, I, I mean, probably, is there you're any pretty in big. That? But <laughs> what, are you we gonna plug anything? Yeah, I mean, if people want to come find me, it's just my name. Just, just type my name. There's no H in the John, and yeah, you, I'll turn up on things. So yeah, loads of loads of this lot still follow me, still interacting with old <laughs> names. So, I uh, thought you were yeah. going to say, I've got plenty more of these. Line up, plenty more of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, yeah. Shout out, everybody. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming on, man. It's good to good to have you back in the fold. Yes, and uh, when Joe's Farley eventually does just jack this whole fucking <laughs> shit in, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk contracts. Yeah. Um, and to everyone listening we will catch you again next week for some more gaming chit chat thank you so much for living it we'll we'll see you then goodbye everybody bye everyone ta-ra